Chapter 3561 Long Chen shouted, and his divine ring opened wide like a gaping maw, crazily devouring this Yan Zhu flame. The Yan Zhu flame here was from the chains that Long Chen's heart devil had shattered, and they poured into his divine ring. This sight stunned countless people. The Yan Zhu flame can devour all other flames. But someone is devouring the Yan Zhu flame. Just what is happening? The devourer of flames was being devoured by Long Chen. This sight drove people crazy, completely toppling their understanding. Ignorant fool, do you think that my Yan Zhu flame can be absorbed by the likes of a furious roar rang out from above the nine heavens? The Yan Zhu flames that were being absorbed rapidly condensed as if about to blow up Long Chen's divine ring. However, his furious roar suddenly came to a stop. A golden lotus seed had appeared in Long Chen's divine ring. The golden lotus seed emitted divine light, and the Yan Zhu flame instantly lost its cohesiveness in front of that light. It then transformed into runes that were absorbed by the divine ring. It can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Navaloon, come what? The owner of the Yan Zhu flames was shocked. The most terrifying thing about this golden lotus seed was that its sacred light illuminated this world, restoring light to this black world. The dark energy of the Yan Zhu flame was expelled. Long Chen, just wait. An unwilling roar rang out and then the black flame scattered. However, although the black flames scattered very quickly, much of them was still absorbed by Long Chen. Long Chen gathered all the flames he could, and then lightning appeared beneath his feet. Just as he was about to flee, the world spun around him. His vision darkened, and he could no longer maintain his consciousness. After that, he fainted. It's over. A single thought formed in Long Chen's mind just as he fell unconscious. After consecutive battles, Long Chen had run out of energy. Just now, when his heart devil took over, it took his utmost effort to take back control. Hence, he had severely overdrafted his mental energy. He also knew that he had overdrafted himself, which was why he was in a rush to leave and find a safe place to rest. However, who would have thought that he had overdrafted himself so severely that he directly fell unconscious here? He would be a lamb for the slaughter, and countless people would fight over his corpse. As expected, when Long Chen fell from the sky and the fire of his soul was almost extinguished, countless experts charged at him. There were people from the human race, the demon race, the devil race, etc., Countless experts charged at him. Some wanted to kill him, and some wanted to catch him alive. Who dares to harm him? Just then, a cold shout shook heaven and earth, and a supreme pressure crashed down. Even late-stage world kings felt their souls shaking. They didn't dare to move. The pressure of a divine venerate. People were shocked. An almighty divine venerate was descending. Baster. Yu Kingshuan, who was mixed in with the crowd and preparing to grab Long Chen, was so overwhelmed with joy when she heard that voice. She could only we. After that, the void quivered and a white-robed elder with a sword on his back appeared. As soon as he showed up, the experts that had been charging at Long Chen were repelled by an invisible force. This person was the Blazing Heaven Divine Sect's sect master, as well as Yu Qingxuan's master, divine venerate Dong Feng Zichu. When Dong Feng Zichu appeared, all those other experts let out a grunt and flew back. In front of a divine venerate, A appeared incredibly weak. They couldn't even form the will to fight back. A divine venerate. That was an apex overlord of this world. Countless cultivators would never see an existence on this level in their lifetimes, so countless people looked at Dong Feng Zichu reverently. Dong Feng Zichu reached out to catch Long Chen. However, just as his hand was about to touch Long Chen, another powerful hand caught him first. What? People were shocked. 
Someone dared to snatch him from Dongfang Zichu. Someone who could move under the might of a divine venerate could only be another divine venerate. No. People looked over to see a lofty man in golden robes. He had a crown and a golden belt on, looking extremely grand. Despite already having white hair, nothing could conceal his ruler Kai. Standing there, he caused countless people to form a desire to prostrate themselves before him. People were shocked. Where did this other almighty expert appear from? Senior. Yu Qingxuan was stunned and delighted. This elder was precisely the elder with ruler Kai, the one who had drunk wine together with Long Chen in the wine god palace. She hadn't expected her master and this elder to save Long Chen together. Brother Gyu Hong, it's been a long time. Dong Feng Zichu was a bit surprised and then cupped his fists. It truly has been a long time. The elder nodded. Dong Feng Zichu smiled slightly. This junior brother saved my disciple's life. That's why I had to interfere. I didn't expect that you would also come to save this junior brother. If I had known that brother Gyu Hong was present, I wouldn't have embarrassed myself. Gyu Hong. Heavens, he couldn't be that monarch of the Grand Zion Nation from the archaic era that Zia Gyu Hong. Could he? A startled cry rang out. According to legend, the Grand Zia Imperial family was born inheriting heaven and earth's grand Tao. They are the heir of one of the ten great primal chaos divine items, the Grand Zaya Dragon Sparrow. Wasn't it said that Zaya Yuhang already died following the destruction of the Grand Zaya Nation? Is there some mistake? It can't be a mistake. The Grand Zaya Imperial bloodline is the noblest of bloodlines. This kind of bloodline suppression cannot be faked. Countless elders discussed this golden-robed elder amongst themselves. They were filled with shock. Zaya Yuhong was the final monarch of the Grand Zion Nation. He was a famous existence in the human race's history. In campaigns against enemy worlds, he had slaughtered countless life forms and contributed unforgettable meritorious deeds. The human race's history had a page dedicated to him. Later on, when the Grand Zion Nation was destroyed, he vanished as well. People all thought that he had died, and countless people had sighed regretfully over the loss. Who would have thought that he was still alive and would appear at this time? It was unbelievable. Zia Yuhong looked at Dong Feng Zichu. This junior brother is my drinking friend. Despite the age difference, we are brothers. Now that he is injured, I think it would be better for me to bring him to the Wine God Palace to recover. What do you think? Dong Fang Zichu smiled. Of course. Whether it is the Wine God Palace or my Blazing Heaven Divine Sect, I trust that no one could harm him there. Also, the Wine God Palace is a miraculous place. I believe it to be more suitable for healing his wounds. Dong Fang Zichu was very refined, giving people the feeling of a modest nobleman. It seemed that nothing would make him angry. For a grand divine venerate to not stand on any airs, it was truly a comfortable feeling. Then let us say goodbye. Zia Guhong cupped his fists, nodded slightly to the distant Yu Qingxuan, and vanished with Long Chen just like that in front of everyone's gaze. Chapter 3562 Seeing that Long Chen was brought away, Yu Qingxuan felt empty inside for some reason. Not being able to see him made her feel like she had lost her soul. Yu Qingxuan looked at Dong Feng Zichu. Master, I... You want to look after Long Chen? Dong Feng Zichu smiled, seemingly seeing through Yu Qingxuan's thoughts. Yu Qingxuan blushed slightly. Long Chen had risked his life to save her several times. When she was seized by the master of the raging flame Heavenly Palace, he was even willing to turn into a devil. How could she not be moved? Yu Qingxuan felt uneasy seeing him leave. She needed to be the one to look after him, and she would only feel a bit better once she saw him wake up. In truth, 
deep within her heart, she also wanted to stay with Long Chen forever. Just in these few days with him, she felt that the days with him were very warm. Foolish child, if both of your emotions are for eternity, why bother about dawn to dusk? The cultivation path is a long one. Everyone follows different paths to the same place, and those who can stand at the peak of the world do not care about this little bit of time. If you are unable to stand at that height, you can only be mercilessly crushed by others. If you cannot even be sure about lasting until dusk, how can you say that you wish to be together with him from dawn to dusk every day? It was Master's carelessness this time. I didn't expect Yan Zhu's descendant to set his sight on you. You must immediately go into seclusion to quickly awaken your rainbow flame manifestation. Once you do, the Yan Zhu flame will no longer be able to suppress you so badly. Even if you can't beat them, you can get away. It was truly dangerous this time. Master has let you down, sighed Dong Feng Zichu. Master, it was disciples' lack of ability that has lost you your face, said Yu Qingxuan hastily when she saw her master blaming himself. Let's go. Let's not talk about these things. Next time, if you have the chance, help your master properly thank that junior brother, said Dong Feng Zichu. After saying that, he left with Yu Qingxuan. Yu Qingxuan was still unwilling to leave without Long Chen, but she still followed her master away. Long Chen left and Yu Qingxuan also left. However, the land was left riddled with destruction. The crust of the earth was torn through, and the sky was full of holes. Moreover, black flames still burned like sinister eyes looking upon the world. Just looking at them made people quiver. Quite a few experts were running toward the battlefield, searching for the fragments of divine items. In that battle, quite a few world domain divine items had been broken. Even so, their fragments were very precious materials. Every bit that they found was quite a great profit. However, the majority of these experts were second-rate. True experts looked down on such things. Once a world domain divine item was broken, its divine nature would vanish. If its materials were reused, at best, they would be able to forge a king item. To those experts with solid foundations, that was trash. However, there were also powerful heavenly geniuses entering the battlefield now. They weren't picking through the trash, but were sensing the terrifying remnant pressures. Feng Xiang also walked into the battlefield, but he didn't dare to walk to the core. The remnant wills there could crush his soul. Let alone him, even late-stage world kings didn't dare to go there. This had truly been a heaven-shaking battle. Just how many people had ever seen such a thing in all their lives? Even looking at the remaining burning flames, people still didn't quite dare to believe it. How do you feel? Feng Xiang's father stood beside him, overlooking this endless battlefield. Thank you, Dad. If it hadn't been for you, I might have vanished from this world just like Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others. Dad, your child knows his sins. Feng Xiang actually sank to his knees and kowtowed to his father to express his apology. This life of his had been bestowed upon him by his father. If his father had not stripped him of his position as the son of the city lord, he would definitely have been together with Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others. He would have joined forces with them to attack Long Chen. However, he had seen Long Chen's power now. For Long Chen, killing him was no different than swatting an ant. The most frightening thing was that if he had really joined the attack against Long Chen, then... Long Chen wouldn't have shown mercy in that clash with Yan Hong. Then it wouldn't just be him dead. It would be everyone in the Blazing Dragon Prefecture, including his family and the commoners in the city. If his father hadn't expelled him from the family and made him cool his head, perhaps he wouldn't have saved Yu Qingxuan at that critical moment. By saving Yu Qingxuan, he had saved himself and his family. Thinking about all this, 
Feng Zhang was ashamed of himself. Only now did he understand just how bitterly his father had worked for him. His father had long since seen through all this. It was his own stubbornness that had clouded his eyes and almost gotten him killed, implicating everyone else as well. He had no face left and had the urge to find a hole to bury himself in. Good child, your father is gratified that you can understand. As a cultivator, due to possessing great martial power, people often end up having cloudy eyes that are blind to what's important. They forget respect and gratitude. They think that with power, that by relying on a powerful backer, they can be completely unrestrained, not caring about any law or morality. Little do they know that there is always someone stronger. Heaven beyond the heavens, said Feng Zhang's father while lifting up his son. Child was foolish. I'm ashamed that I didn't understand your intentions earlier, said Feng Zhang. Feng Zhang's father shook his head. It was thanks to my close friend in the Wine God Palace that I could comprehend that Long Chen was not an existence we could offend. In truth, your father also didn't expect this. Long Chen was far more terrifying than I anticipated. Fortunately, you didn't disappoint me. You saved the Dragon Blaze Prefecture. Just thinking about it now, Feng Zhang's father felt a burst of fear. The Yan Zhu flame was capable of breaking the formation and laws. If it hadn't been for Long Chen, he would be the only survivor in the city. Although he had also felt that Long Chen was extraordinary and knew that the High Firmament Academy would not promote just any random youngster to the position of dean, he was still stunned by Long Chen's power. In truth, it was all thanks to that expert from the Wine God Palace. If he hadn't given some pointers to Feng Zhang's father as well as Feng Zhang, perhaps the Dragon Blaze Prefecture City would be gone. When you're just trying to make great content at Novelum, Kan Long Chen didn't die. Some people are probably feeling sour about it. Feng Zhang looked into the distance and shook his head. His father followed his gaze. As expected, he saw a group of people discussing something darkly. Those people were experts from the Soaring Dragon Company. There were actually hundreds of them, and they were all mid- and late-stage world kings. These people had been hiding in the dark the entire time, ready to take action at a opportune moment. However, they were very fortunate to not have made their move. That was what had saved their lives. Even so, Long Chen and the Soaring Dragon Company were already mortal enemies. Once Long Chen's injuries healed, it was unknown what he would do to settle their debts. This battle had shown Long Chen's power to everyone. For a few late-stage world kings, to look for Long Chen was no different from sending themselves to their deaths. If it was a larger group of late-stage world kings, then even if Long Chen couldn't beat them, relying on his lightning movement art, he could still flee. With his speed, no one could catch up to him. Having offended such a terrifying existence with limitless potential, anyone would feel a headache. For the Soaring Dragon Company to have such a figure gazing at them, they would never have a peaceful night again. If, both, within a world of endless flames, millions of flame currents flowed. A black-haired man that looked identical to Yan Hong stood atop the raging currents. He then spread his arms and roared, Long Chen, just you wait. Chapter 3563 This man looked identical to Yan Hong. His eyes were filled with black flames, and his killing intent was soaring. Standing within these endless flames, he seemed to the god of flames, capable of controlling all ten thousand flames. Eighth brother, what happened? Just then, a voice rang out and another man appeared. The two of them looked identical. However, this person's aura was even more terrifying. He was actually a divine venerate with an aura that could devour the heavens. Third brother, ninth brother was slain. You came out too late. If you were just one step sooner, ninth brother wouldn't have died. This eighth brother was Yan Zhu's eighth son, 
the one who had been beaten by Long Chen. His name was Yan Feng. Yan Feng had just advanced to the world king realm. As for this one ranked third, he was called Yan Chang. He was a supremely terrifying existence. When he heard that Yan Hong was slain, he fell into silence. After a long moment, he said, Show me the images. Yan Feng then showed him how he had fought Long Chen from start to end. When Yan Cheng saw the golden lotus seed in Long Chen's divine ring, his pupils shrank to the size of a pinpoint. Third brother, what is it? Should we cross heavens and kill this Long Chen? Maybe we can reclaim ninth brother's core. If we place it in the primal chaos flame sea, perhaps he will have a chance at rebirth. Other than that, this fellow also has the ghost sovereign's mark on him. That's an existence from the same era as father. Should we wake father up? asked Yan Feng. Yan Cheng shook his head. Father cannot be disturbed no matter what. Then, third brother, you can personally go. The others are in seclusion. Crossing heavens comes at too high of a price for me. My realm might drop. But if you go, even though it might use some core energy, you can sweep through the human race's divine venerates, said Yan Feng. It's useless. The one called Long Chen, his golden lotus seed has a horrifying origin. Its golden flames can counter our Yan Zhu flame. This matter is not so simple. Yan Cheng shook his head gravely. How can that be? Isn't our Yan Zhu race the strongest flame of the nine heavens and ten lands? How can there be another flame that counters us? Yan Feng was filled with disbelief. You're still too young. In that fight, your flame energy wasn't weakened due to acting across heavens. It was because the golden lotus seed countered you. That's why you failed. That golden lotus seed is an existence with major origins. The stronger you are, the greater it will counter you. For this Long Chen to have the golden lotus seed, our Yan Zhu line cannot touch him for now, said Yan Cheng. No way. If it really counters us, how could Long Chen be pushed to the limit by ninth brother? Yan Feng still didn't believe it. That is because Long Chen does not know how to use the golden lotus seed. If he learns how to, even if there were ten Yan Hongs, they would all die to Long Chen. Right now, the golden lotus seed has been activated. Although Long Chen still doesn't know how to use it, once he encounters Yan Zhu flames, it will automatically counterattack. Thus, we cannot directly fight him. If the golden lotus seed activates more, Long Chen might comprehend how to use it. Then it will be troublesome, said Yan Chang. Then what do we do? Just let him get away with this, demanded Yan Feng unwillingly. Long Chen was merely a little divine lord. If Yan Feng was in front of him, he could crush Long Chen with his palm. However, he wasn't in the same heaven as Long Chen. The reason that he could attack across heaven's back then was because when Yan Hong died, his special spiritual seal detonated, allowing Yan Feng to pass a portion of his power through space. That was no more than a tenth of his actual power. However, not only did he not manage to harm Long Chen, but his energy was even devoured. Hence, he was enraged. Before father went into seclusion, he told me that ninth brother would have a major tribulation in his lifetime. I didn't expect it to really come, sighed Yan Chang. But it... Yan Feng was shocked. Yan Chang continued, however, danger is danger, but it is also opportunity. For the golden lotus seed to appear is a great opportunity for our Yan Zhu race. We need to think of a way to obtain it. But Long Chen also has the ghost sovereign's mark on him. It's unknown if the ghost sovereign has also set his sights on his lotus seed. We cannot force this matter, and we'll have to come up with a long-term plan. Anyway, there's no need for you to ponder over this matter any further. Focus on your cultivation. 
you just devoured the heavenly rainbow fairy's discarnate soul your realm has not fully stabilized and now you've lost so much core energy be wary of your realm falling yes third brother said yan fen hastily after yan cheng finished speaking his body broke down merging into heaven and earth he vanished from sight when yan chang was gone yan feng viciously punched the air causing huge ripples in the end he only sighed just like yan chang he merged into heaven and earth if your line of sight was pulled further back you would see a world of endless flames there were nine huge spheres of light within this world every single one of them millions of miles wide every sphere of light contained a figure emitting waves of divine pressure but now one of those figures in the light was destroyed that sphere of light belonged to a person but that person would never return if your line of sight was moved up you would see an even larger sphere of light one that made those nine spheres appear incredibly tiny it can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Navaloon, calm that sphere of light was so big that it was like its own world. Black Kai circulated within this sphere, and waves of sinister Kai came out, as if some overwhelming devil god was sealed inside of it. Once that devil god was unleashed, it would possess the power to destroy the nine heavens and ten lands. Eh? Long Chen, you trash. You're nothing all you know how to do is brag but what can you actually do your body has such power but you don't even dare to quickly repay enmities what do you cultivate for open your eyes and look at yourself do you even appear decent to yourself you incompetent coward hurry up and return this body to me i will slaughter this world i will kill as i please I will use fresh blood to dye these heavens red. I will fill the earth with white bones. A voice howled within the endless darkness. This howl was exasperated and flustered. This was the roaring of his heart devil. It had taken over Long Chen's body, and in its delight, it had used a huge amount of dark energy against Yan Fang, not expecting Long Chen to suddenly reclaim control. Hence, it was still resentful of Long Chen. On the other hand, Long Chen was calm. His will could not be shaken. After all, it could do nothing to him, so all it could do was curse at Long Chen while he was unconscious. As his heart devil roared, Long Chen's inner heart remained incomparably calm. He was in the darkness, but he could see a star twinkling in the darkness. It was a golden star. Although it was very small, although its light was barely perceptible it was constant it was not affected by the darkness like a bright lantern showing the way it showed long chen the right direction long chen smiled he thought of aunt gong's words to him back then he hadn't understood but now he did you're awake drink some wine and warm up your body Long Chen slowly opened his eyes and saw Zia Yu Hung's lofty figure. Chapter 3564 Many thanks for saving my life, senior. Long Chen hastily rose. Although he had fallen unconscious at that time, his spiritual perception was still active. After fainting, he could still recall a bit of what had happened. He knew that Zia Yu Hong had saved him. He also knew that this was a terrifying existence with an incredible background. There's no need for such courteous words between us. In that battle, you severely overdrafted your soul. It seems that you need to properly rest for a while. Zayag Yuhan handed Long Chen a bowl of wine, Navalun. Come Long Chen drank it and was startled. Zayag Yuhan laughed. This is soul-nourishing wine and was made by a junior apprentice sister. I'm not capable of making such a gentle wine. As soon as the wine entered Long Chen's throat, it spread throughout his body, forming a current that slowly entered his mind sea. His mind sea was filled with countless cracks, as if it was about to shatter. 
the damage to his soul far surpassed the injuries to his body in terms of severness. While using the starry sea births violet chi manifestation, his spiritual strength was rapidly used up. When he drew the astral energy in particular, that was like trying to control a wild horse. It also required immense power to control, or if he had lost control, that terrifying power would have caused his own body to explode. It was Long Chen's first time controlling such energy. If it weren't for his powerful spiritual strength, there would have been no way he could have controlled it. As the wine's energy entered his mind's sea, his soul repaired at a speed visible to Long Chen's eye. This wine was gentle but powerful. It was far better than the soul-nourishing pills that Long Chen had refined for himself. Long Chen sighed in admiration. The wine god palace's experts were truly unfathomable existences. This was truly a land of hidden dragons and crouching tigers. After Long Chen finished the wine, Xiaig Yu Hung poured him another bowl. Long Chen was embarrassed to have Xiaig Yu Hung doing this for him and tried to do it himself, but Xiaig Yu Hung stopped him. Looking at you, I seem to see myself as a youth. Someone full of spirit, someone with no restrictions. It really is good to be young. Xiaig Yu Hong sighed with a hint of reminiscence in his eyes. Senior. What senior? It sounds so formal. Cultivators live for countless years, and seniority means little. You can call me Big Brother Gyu Hong, said Zai Gyu Hong. Upon hearing this, Long Chen's heart warmed. Several figures appeared in his mind at this time. What? You think that I am old? Seeing Long Chen fall into deep thought, Zai Gyu Hong smiled. No, Big Brother Gyu Hong, you suddenly remind me of some other big brothers. They were just as heroic as you. They were true men that raised the heavens, said Long Chen hastily. Oh, for you to call them true men that raised the heavens, I really want to meet them, said Zai Yu Hong, instantly interested. Long Chen's eyes reddened slightly. Regretfully, they will never have a chance to meet big brother Yu Hong. Zai Yu Hong reminded him of Yun Sheng, King Zhu, Molai, Zai Yang, the sovereigns of the martial heaven continent. Every time Long Chen thought of them, he felt great reverence as well as sadness over their loss. When Xia Guang asked about it, Long Chen gave him a simple story about the sovereigns and what they had done for the martial heaven continent. Xia Guang couldn't help being moved. What a shame, a true pity. In the immortal world's nine heavens and ten lands, I've seen endless heavenly geniuses and heroes. But other than Junior Brother, no one else is able to enter my eyes. They would have as well, but they've long since turned to dust. Supreme heroes can only appear one at a time in this world. They don't even have an equal to drink with. What a shame! Zai Guhong sighed, clearly feeling respect for the sovereigns as well. Long Chan always felt that the five sovereigns were supreme, incredibly talented, and wise. They created their own unique techniques and had stood at the peak of the continent since forever. Those were true peerless heavenly geniuses. Compared to them, he was nothing more than mediocre. Long Chen had comprehended many things from the five sovereigns. Even in the immortal world, he had never met an existence that could stand alongside them. The five sovereigns were still supreme in his heart. Whether it was in terms of cultivation base, aptitude, comprehension, ability, wisdom, or feelings, they were flawlessly perfect. A little martial heaven continent had produced five supreme sovereigns. As for Long Chen, in all his time in the immortal world, it didn't matter what a person's cultivation base or status was, they were still lacking that kind of nobleness that came from a sovereign. Big Brother Guang there's no need to feel sad. Once my Dragonblood Legion gathers, there will be plenty of people that can accompany you drinking. I don't mind saying that every single person in my Dragonblood Legion is a true man, said Long Chen comfortingly. Good. 
then I'll wait for your good news. Bring your brothers to the wine god palace. Big brother doesn't have anything else, but the wine definitely won't be lacking. Xia Hong laughed heroically. Long Chen and Xia Hong drank dozens of bowls of wine, both feeling especially delighted. However, Xia Hong only drank his own wine, while Long Chen couldn't drink that wine due to his injuries. As they drank, Long Chen talked about his dragon blood legion. Drinking and talking, they were getting along swimmingly. Big Brother Gyu Hong, don't just listen to me talk. Tell me about yourself. Tell Junior Brother your story, said Long Chen, raising his bowl to him. Meh. Xia Gyu Hong came to a pause. It was as if he was sinking back into his memories. Maybe he was tidying his thoughts, trying to think of where to start. However, after a long while, Xia Guhong shook his head. No, there's nothing to tell. I've forgotten many things. Brother, you've drunk about enough. Any more won't benefit your injuries. You should rest. I still have some wine to brew, so I'll go take a look. Xia Guhong rose and left, leaving Long Chen stunned. Watching him leave, Long Chen felt an indescribable feeling. As a youth, you don't know the flavor of worry, but still say that you're worried to appear mature. But now that you know the flavor of worry, you say that the cold chill is a sign of a good autumn. Long Chen looked at the wine in his bowl ruefully. Xie Yuhong was an Iris monarch, an overlord who had left his name on history. He must have gone through an unknown number of storms in his life. However, when Long Chen asked about his past, it seemed to have touched on something in his heart, leaving him in no mood to drink. No one can live a perfect life. Even the monarch of a nation, a mighty divine venerate, still has things that don't go as he wishes. Long Chen didn't have much of an understanding of Xia Yuang, but all the discussions that had gone on about Xia Yuang's origins back in the Dragon Blaze prefecture were heard by Long Chen. This was a supreme expert with his own story, but it seemed that he didn't wish to talk about his past. Find the original that Navaloon come perhaps whenever he thought about his past, the pain was greater than the joy. True experts would not complain to others. They would only silently endure their suffering. Long Chen finished the wine in his bowl. After that, his mind sank into the primal chaos space and he saw a scene that he didn't dare to believe. Chapter 3565 Within the Primal Chaos Space, Hua Linger had transformed into a giant flame dragon and was coiling around a clump of black flames. Those black flames were Yan Zhu flames. They were black, with black runes flowing inside like the veins of leaves. Some sinister energy flowed within them. As Huo Linger absorbed this flame, her scales also started to get some black spots on them. It looked a little frightening. Furthermore, her aura grew a bit sinister, as if the Yan Zhu flame's will was affecting her. The Yan Zhu flame was called the Flame of Evil. It was the most tyrannical, most avaricious, and most bloodthirsty flame. It was the flame that relied on devouring other flames to increase its own power. Now that Huo Linger was absorbing it, she was also infected by that aura. However, no matter how evil her aura grew, Long Chen wasn't worried. Huo Linger's soul was connected to his, and her soul was still pure. Furthermore, although the Yan Zhu flame's aura was evil, in the primal chaos space, its innate nature seemed to have gone through a transformation. It wasn't quite the same as when Yan Hong unleashed it. Long Chen then raised his head and looked up at the golden lotus seed floating in the sky. It was like the sun illuminating the primal chaos space, making it peaceful and tranquil, causing it to thrum with vitality. This seed that Aunt Gong had given him was definitely a terrifying, priceless treasure. Furthermore, Aunt Gong's origins were even more mysterious. She gave him this seed that managed to purify the Yan Zhu flame, 
the strongest flame of the nine heavens and ten lands. Her status was also unimaginable. Most importantly, Aunt Gong approved of him. She gave him this golden lotus seed to illuminate his path forward. He no longer had to question himself all the time. Perhaps this was also another kind of faith energy, faith in himself, faith that allowed him to walk down his own path without hesitation. He no longer had to question whether he was right or wrong. He would simply follow his original heart. With Long Chen no longer questioning himself, his mental state also grew clearer. It was as if a heavy weight that had been pressing down on his heart was now thrown aside. All those burdens were cast off of him, making him feel relaxed and joyful. Furthermore, after his heart devil took over his body, that motionless lotus seed unleashed its divine light. It was only with its help that Long Chen had managed to take back control over his body so quickly. Also, even his hard devil didn't know what had happened. It actually thought that it had used up too much dark energy, resulting in Long Chen taking over. Thus, rather than being angry with his heart devil's curses, Long Chen actually felt immeasurably satisfied. It seemed that he could use the golden lotus seed to control his heart devil. Then he could also control his dark energy. Previously, if he wanted to use his dark energy, he could only use the purgatory eyes. But when his heart devil took over his body, he learned a new move. If it weren't for Yan Hong's big brother unleashing so much flame energy that Long Chen didn't want to waste, he might have even let his heart devil control his body a bit longer so that he could learn more ways to control the dark energy. However, Long Chen was also afraid that if he let it control his body for too long, it would grow too comfortable in his body and make reclaiming it more difficult. If he tried to play it like that, it might be too late for regrets when things took a wrong turn. Right now, he still didn't know how to control this golden lotus seed, but he believed that Aunt Gong had given it to him for a profound reason. He needed to slowly uncover its secrets. Watching Hua linger patiently absorbing the Yan Zhu flame, Long Chen felt very comfortable inside. It had to be known that the flames he had absorbed from the heavenly flame world had been used to fight Yan Zhu. To say that he wasn't aggrieved after using them up would be lying. However, those losses were made up for by Yan Hong and his big brother's energy. It seemed that he had greatly profited from that. After all the unexpected twists and turns, Long Chen ended up being the ultimate winner. Huo Linger's power would definitely rise once more after she devoured these flames. He estimated that even if she couldn't manifest the Yan Zhu flame, she should be able to control a trace of its power just like with the Ice Soul. This trace of the Yan Zhu flame's devouring ability made Long Chen smile even in his dreams. When he faced flame cultivators in the future, they would simply be food. However, the Yan Zhu flame was not so easy to control. Whether or not Huo Linger could control it would only be known after she was done absorbing it. Long Chen's divine sense then retreated from the primal, chaos space. He began to look within himself to see his wounds and was very satisfied. During the battle, his body had been pushed to the limit and had started cracking. But while he was unconscious, the primal, chaos space's life energy had fully repaired his body. Furthermore, the Wood Foundation divine trees showed no signs of growing listless. In other words, they still had more than enough energy even after healing his wounds. Search Navaloon come for the original. The reason it took some time was merely because the wounds contained the power of the Grand Dao's laws. But as long as the Wood Foundation divine trees had enough energy, his recovery was nothing more than a matter of time. Oh, Long Chen suddenly noticed a change in his 108,000 stars. Ninety-nine of them had changed. Those were the ninety-nine stars that he had used to draw down astral energy. Those ninety-nine stars had endured the impact of the astral energy from above the heavens, 
and illusory figures had appeared on top of them it was like a scar had been branded on them could it be that drawing down astral energy caused the outside world's astral energy to germinate within the stars inside my body wondered long chen he now sensed a foreign aura on these stars thinking back to when he had gathered the astral energy his heart pounded wildly if that really was the case then that would be absolutely amazing if he could constantly receive the nourishment of the astral energy from above the nine heavens then wouldn't his body truly contain a starry sea the nine star hegemon body art was too mysterious he had cultivated to the divine lord realm and was working on condensing the seventh star but it only exposed the tip of the iceberg to him the parts that were still hidden were even more terrifying than long chen had imagined long chen didn't dare to imagine just what kind of power he would possess when he activated the seven star battle armor long chen felt himself growing increasingly confident long chen spent seven days in the wine god palace due to huo ling refining the yan zu flame he couldn't refine pills it was rare for long chen to have nothing to do he only roamed around the wine god palace greeting the various seniors tasting their wine and discussing the tao it was a very satisfying time at the same time he gained quite a few fine wines seven days later long chen's spiritual strength was fully recovered he entered his peak condition he then bid farewell to zayed yuhong and the others leaving the wine god palace long chen was originally planning on going to the daluo starfield's blazing heaven divine sect to see yu kingshuan but he then decided against it inside the heavenly flame world her flame fluctuations were exceptionally intense it was most likely a sign of breaking through at this time she should have finished healing from her wounds and should be entering seclusion to break through if he went to find her now he probably wouldn't get to see her after thinking about it long chen gave up on that he took out a map and looked at it carefully nine underworld island first things first though time to fill up my plate long chen put away his map patting the ming hong saber on his back he rushed off in a certain direction chapter three thousand five hundred sixty six nine underworld island it wasn't within the chaotic star sea instead it was located in a neighboring star field based on direct line distance it actually wasn't far however the chaotic star sea had chaos domains that were filled with countless uncrossable spatial cracks coming from the outside there was only one way into the chaotic star sea from anywhere else you would be forced to make a long detour this also made it so that the news inside the chaotic star sea was isolated news from the outside world took a while to enter and news from inside took a certain amount of time to spread to the outside world although long chen had shaken the dragon blaze prefecture for it to spread to the outside world would take a bit of time oh, a formation shattered a metallic case of treasures was taken away by long chen long chen you got him bastard you won't have a good death a mid-stage world king cursed at long chen his eyes green with fury however long chen ignored that person's fury in front of the fury of countless experts of the soaring dragon company he chose to simply ignore it he was already used to this sight in the chaotic star sea this was the seventh treasury of the soaring dragon company that he had plundered to use long chen's words bandits never leave empty-handed if he was going to leave he had to at least get some travel expenses furthermore in order to prevent the soaring dragon company from transporting too many of their treasures away he plundered over ten strongholds overnight after plundering them he broke their transportation formations and communication systems making it so that they couldn't warn the others when the treasury entered the primal chaos space long chen smiled 
robbing others really was the fastest way to get rich. Perhaps the higher-ups were still discussing how to deal with him. Perhaps they didn't think that he would attack them again so quickly. In any case, Long Chen caught them unprepared. Even the strongest experts in these strongholds were merely mid-stage world kings. Such a figure couldn't even summon the courage to attack Long Chen. Hence, they only cursed at him, watching as this bandit sucked their treasury into his pocket. Cursing people is wrong. Businessmen should live off of the principle that amiability makes you rich. With this kind of attitude, do you think that I'll conduct business with you next time? Let me tell you, if you don't change this attitude, I won't come even if you ask me to, advised Long Chen kind-heartedly. You, you, you are absolutely shameless. That elder was so enraged that he almost coughed up blood. After snatching their fangs, this bandit said amiability made you rich. In all his years, the elder had never seen someone so shameless. All right, don't be mad. I'm sure if you work on yourself, with your talent and aptitude, through hard work, you can quickly accumulate more wealth. I'll leave for now, but don't worry, as long as I have time, I'll definitely be back. Long Chen laughed and waved goodbye to them as if they were old friends that he was unwilling to part with each other. Go kill yourself. Never come back. The Soaring Dragon Company's experts cursed Long Chen furiously. Regretfully, Long Chen had long since vanished. Looking at their stronghold that was completely wrecked, these experts almost cried. They could only clean up the wreckage as they thought of a way to inform the higher-ups. In the surroundings, countless experts had seen everything and felt absolute admiration for Long Chen. Some even sneered at the Soaring Dragon Company's misfortune because their reputation really was no good. Long Chen plundered seventeen treasuries before sitting on a transportation formation. After multiple transportations, he appeared in the fairy land of the star field. Just like that, he swaggered onto a flying boat. When Long Chen stepped on, countless experts shouted in shock, recognizing him. Long Chen's bounty had long since spread throughout the entire chaotic star sea. Hence, countless people had wanted to use his head to exchange for wealth. However, then, the news of Long Chen's battle in the Dragon Blaze Prefecture spread throughout the chaotic Star Sea. Now, most people knew just how terrifying he was. What kind of joke was that? The existence called the strongest flame in the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands had been killed by Long Chen, and even late-stage world kings had been slain in droves by him. With two divine venerates supporting him, who would dare to provoke him? Even if you counted those two divine venerates out, just with Long Chen's own power, who dared to even think about touching him? Were they that tired of living? Long Chen stepped onto the flying boat and found that it wasn't even half full. But the boat directly set out. Originally, if the boat wasn't full, they wouldn't set off. They would wait, usually ten to fifteen days, for there to be enough people to move out. Clearly, the ones operating the flying boat wanted to hurry up and send off this demon that was Long Chen, afraid that some other experts might chase him here and start a battle. Then they would all be doomed. The one in charge of maintaining order on this ship was originally an early stage world king. But when Long Chen appeared, they were immediately switched with a late stage world king. That world king immediately greeted Long Chen ardently, a very warm smile on his face. He was quite smart, subtly expressing that even if they had to lose money, they would send Long Chen away. However, if the worst-case scenario did occur, then they hoped Long Chen would have mercy. After all, they were a small business and couldn't endure such a loss. Long Chen instantly understood. They were afraid that people from this side would chase after him and start a fight, as well as afraid that, once he arrived on the other side, his enemies would be waiting for him. If they had to fight, 
Longchen shouldn't implicate them. They should find a more secluded place to fight. Search Navaloon, come for the original. A grand late-stage world king was practically begging him, so Long Chen naturally couldn't make things hard on these people. If his enemies really did come find him, he wouldn't implicate them. However, Long Chen also didn't mistreat this world king elder and directly gave him a jug of fine wine. This elder was a water element cultivator, and this wine was made by a mighty water cultivator in the wine god palace. Seeing this wine, the elder repeatedly thanked Long Chen. Just as he thought that he was about to lose out on some money, he was given such a gift. It had to be known that the wine god Palace's wine was not something that could be bought no matter how much money you had. Furthermore, this elder had been stuck at the seventh heaven stage for countless years. But with this wine, he felt like he could break free from his shackles. He was filled with gratitude toward Long Chen. No one had ever sent him such a precious thing before. Senior, do you know how to get to the Hanging Star Field? Asked Long Chen. You want to go to the Hanging Star Field? The elder was surprised. Long Chen actually wasn't going to the Hanging Star Field. He wanted to go to the Nine Underworld Island. However, he was asking this question in front of everyone to mislead his enemies. Who knew whether or not his enemy's eyes were also within this ship? Yes. Long Chen nodded. I'd advise you not to go. Hanging Star Field is also called the Old Devil Star Field. In the past few years, the Old Devil race started a war with the human race inside, and I heard that the situation is very precarious. The spatial channels have all crumbled, so those above the Immortal King realm are unable to pass through the chaotic flow of space there. It's a land of death said the elder. The All Devil Star Field? Now it was Long Chen's turn to be surprised. A name popped up in his mind. Sai Kainkian. Chapter 3567 So the Hongying Star Field was actually the All Devil Star Field. He hadn't expected the random name that he said without thinking would end up giving him such information. A quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. Through that elder, Long Chen learned that in the old Devil Star Field, the fighting had lasted for millions and millions of years without stopping. Hence, the enmity between the human race and the devil race had sunk into their bones. The old Devil Star Field was not too suitable for human cultivation, so the cultivators inside were not particularly strong. However, those experts forged transcendent battle armor. In these battle armor, their power, speed, defenses, and killing power rose by ten or even dozens of times. With there being countless devil beasts and the humans having to fight them all year long, they possessed the shortest overall lifespans of people in the violet flame heaven. The All Devil Star Field also produced all kinds of immortal metals of the highest quality. However, most of those metals stayed within the Old Devil Starfield and were not sold to the outside world, as the natives used the metals to forge their armor and weapons. On the other hand, the devil crystals, demonic cores, beast hides, and other ingredients from devil beasts came out in large amounts and were always fought over by the major powers. Their quality was incredibly high, and the price was also high. Thus, the Old Devil Star Field was actually quite famous. The Devil Beasts occupied 90% of the surface of the Old Devil Star Field, with the human race occupying a scant corner. It was difficult for them to survive. Although the Old Devil Star Field was full of dangers, there was also plenty of wealth. Hence, despite knowing the danger, countless experts still took the risk of entering the Old Devil Star Field. One reason was to make money, while the other reason was to learn some forging arts. The All Devil Star Field's forging arts were extremely famous. Just learning the slightest bit could endlessly benefit someone. However, those supreme sects within the All Devil Star Field viewed their forging arts as absolute secrets. 
only their core disciples were qualified to come into contact with them, and outsiders truly were only able to learn the slightest bit. However, through great efforts, these outsiders could slay devil beasts, sell their corpses in exchange for money, and buy the divine weapons from the natives. Those divine weapons sold, there were half the price of the ones sold in the outside world. But in order to prevent others from making a profit by reselling them, those weapons and armor had special runes carved into them to make them lose effect once they were brought out of the old devil star field, turning them into scrap metal. There was no way around that. With the constant fighting occurring in the old devil star field, the weapons and armor were rapidly used up. If too many were gone, it would cause an imbalance, so they had to maintain that precarious balance. However, in the past few years, something unknown happened, and the old devil star field's spatial channels gradually vanished. They were mostly cut off from the outside world. Also, the original spatial channels became chaotic spatial currents. People had tried to pass through and found that the chaotic current seemed to be supported by a formation. If anyone in the Immortal King realm and above entered, they would be beset by terrifying spatial storms and instantly killed. Only Divine Lord Cultivators and below were able to enter without causing a spatial storm. But a Divine Lord was also unable to resist that chaotic spatial current and would also be instantly killed. It was said that there was a powerful Divine Lord Heavenly Genius who had charged into the chaotic spatial current and entered the All Devil Star Field, but upon seeing an endless tide of devil beasts as if he had wound up in their lair, he immediately fled back out. If he hadn't immediately fled, he supposedly would have died inside. People deduced that some kind of change had occurred within the All Devil Star Field. The people inside were probably having a difficult time. It was even possible that they might have been wiped out. Many experts wanted to enter to save them, but the stronger ones couldn't enter and the weaker ones would be sending themselves to their deaths. No one had any solution. No matter how strong a person was, they couldn't beat the spatial storms of the walls between worlds. Even divine venerates were unable to do anything. They could only sigh with pity. Thus, when that elder heard that Long Chen wanted to go to the old devil star field, he immediately warned him that it was not a good place to go. That was only out of the kindness of his heart, as he didn't wish for Long Chen to send himself to his death. I heard that the beast derived medicinal ingredients from that place are all top grade. I was hoping to gather a few but it seems that I'll need to come up with something else. Long Chen sighed and shook his head. Long Chen had originally just been using that place to distract his enemies for a moment so he could slip into the Nine Underworld Island. However, now he changed plans. He would definitely have to take a trip to the Old Devil Star Field. Zai Kainkian had once gone through life and death with him. If she was in trouble, he couldn't just sit still and do nothing. Other than that, back in Pill Valley's Heaven Dragon Flame region, he had released a devil beast of the All Devil race that then caused chaos in Pill Valley. It had said that Lord Brahma had betrayed his master. The All Devil race definitely had a connection with Lord Brahma, so he had to investigate. At the same time, with so many devil beasts there, Perhaps he could conveniently gather the ingredients that he was lacking. Although he had managed to plunder some more from the Soaring Dragon Company and the Huayan Trading Company was helping him buy some, it was still far from enough. He had to think of something himself. As a result of all those factors, the Old Devil Star Field was definitely somewhere he had to go. But then, if he was going to go there, he couldn't be so open about it. After expressing his disappointment, he asked about the other star fields. That elder immediately introduced Long Chen to several good star fields. Those also had plenty of devil beasts, as well as many adventurers and mercenary groups. They were basically easy places to gain wealth. Long Chen nodded. 
saying that he was going to listen to his advice and go to another star field. After that, the elder invited Long Chen to his private room to rest, but Long Chen tactfully refused. He just sat by the window and looked at the scenery flying by outside. His heart was very calm at this time. Senior Long Chen, I. Eventually, someone bravely walked over to Long Chen. Long Chen looked at him. He was a stranger who looked to be in his thirties. However, Long Chen smiled and said, How coincidental. You're also a cultivator of the starry river of the sky art. With just a glance, Long Chen could tell that this stranger was a cultivator of the starry river of the sky art. Long Chen felt a natural closeness to cultivators of this technique. Seeing that Long Chen was so easy to get close to, that person was delighted. He came to ask for some help from Long Chen pertaining to the technique for drawing the stars into the body. This step was truly too difficult. Long Chen didn't hold back. Just like that, he demonstrated to everyone, telling this person how to calm his heart, focus his soul, empty his mind, observe the stars, sense them from a great distance, and other steps. Every single step was explained in great detail. After listening, that person was instantly enlightened. He directly kowtowed to Long Chen in thanks, but he was lifted back up by Long Chen. Long Chen smiled. If you really want to thank me, then once you are capable of drawing down astral power, help those friends who have yet to master it. That person repeatedly thanked Long Chen and firmly remembered Long Chen's words in his heart. In the future, after years of bitter training, he ultimately managed to cultivate into an almighty expert. In the end, he never forgot Long Chen's teachings. After composing a tome of his own understanding, he helped many cultivators gain enlightenment on the starry river of the sky art. But that was something that only occurred much later. The flying goat stopped by the harbor. Long Chen didn't want to cause trouble, so without saying goodbye, this figure simply vanished from everyone's line of sight. All Devil Star Field, Boss Long San is coming. Are you afraid? Chapter 3568 Boom. The void exploded. After that, a late stage world king was sent flying back by a saber, coughing up blood. Go back and tell your soaring dragon company's higher ups to prepare some more inventory. Don't waste my time, as I'm very busy. Long Chen unleashed another attack, conveniently hacking apart the treasury that he had just snatched. On his way to the old devil star field, he had been thinking of conveniently gathering some more money. As a result, after plundering three strongholds of the Soaring Dragon Company along the way, the other side was already prepared for Long Chen. He had attacked several of their strongholds and ended up finding nothing. Their treasuries were completely devoid of anything, as the items had been scattered to other smaller locations. Clearly, the method Long Chen used in the Chaotic Star Sea was no longer effective. There was no way to lock down the news. Because of that, the other side could make their preparations, and now they didn't even leave a single egg in their baskets. It wasn't as if Long Chen had time to hunt down all those scattered treasures. Having come up empty-handed again, Long Chen cursed that late-stage world king for not understanding that amiability made you rich and then patted his butt and left. Long Chen, just wait. Our soaring dragon company will not let you off. That late-stage world king roared hysterically. All the city's people stared at that elder in dumbfounded silence, not knowing what had just taken place. It had happened too quickly for them to even get a look. Long Chen directly stepped onto a transportation formation and left. This was a figure who dared to plunder the Soaring Dragon Company and beat late-stage world kings. Hence, the guards of the transportation formation didn't even dare to ask for the fee. Once Long Chen told them where he wanted to go, they directly sent him there. In just one day, Long Chen went through over 80 transportation formations. 
it had to be known that even a world king would only go through ten a day and definitely not more than twenty that was because the spatial laws used in each transportation posed a certain burden on the body extreme long-range transportations in particular had an even heavier burden a single transportation would take some time to recover from so if someone was undergoing multiple transportations their body wouldn't have time to recover as the pressure of the laws layered on top of each other it would form a grand dow wound which contained the power of the laws it was very frightening and not easy to recover from it might even leave behind a sequela even with long chen's physical body undergoing all of these transportations was starting to get taxing he had no choice but to rest in an ancient city he went to a restaurant to eat and drink search noveloon calm for the original after so many transportations finally no one recognized him when they looked at him their gazes were different some people even viewed him as a fat sheep and seemed to be thinking about attacking him however that made long chen feel much more at ease the city was big but it also had a soaring dragon company present it went without saying that the map from the huayan trading company was very detailed long chen even suspected that the huayan trading company had long since known that he would want to plunder the soaring dragon company so they marked their positions on the map so clearly however this branch of the soaring dragon company wasn't big long chen couldn't even be bothered to plunder it even if its treasury hadn't been emptied there wouldn't be anything good inside it was a waste of time taking out his map and looking at his path he found that he was already not far from the old devil star field fortunately the violet flame heaven was more prosperous than the dark light heaven so there weren't so many uncivilized territories many places had transportation formations that he could go through even if there were places that transportation formations couldn't go to there were tools to ferry him across although the price was not cheap it was very convenient anyway long chen no longer had any concept of money even long chen didn't know how much money he had now the primal chaos space had a mountain of treasuries piled up inside it long chen had only checked them briefly other than the medicinal ingredients that he urgently needed he simply tossed the rest aside not even bothering to take note of them all in all he had dozens of world domain divine items but their quality was rather average simply not on the level of the phoenix blood heavenly silk knit with the minghong saber in his possession long chen didn't even look at them after the last battle long chen had slain countless experts so the minghong saber had undergone a huge transformation even when long chen wasn't doing anything it could still activate a portion of its runes it truly did seem to be a weapon made for long chen it could use his violet kai and reach the point of man and saber being one both of them benefited from their seamless cooperation other than evil moon this was the most pleasing weapon that long chen had ever obtained long chen he will linger and the minghong saber all benefited immensely from that battle he will linger naturally benefited the most but the minghong saber was still climbing even now it hadn't fully digested all the gains from the last battle as for how much energy it had actually gained no one knew after eating and sprucing up his appearance long chen once more sat through transportation formations after just three more he appeared on the edge of the old devil star field when long chen appeared he saw that countless experts were gathered here staring vigilantly at the spatial gateway long chen's arrival didn't draw anyone's attention when long chen got closer he found that the gateway's space was layered forming a roiling channel it was like a rapid river current within this current it was actually possible to see spatial blades spinning around with the naked eye people occasionally entered and left they entered carefully but when they came out 
they were covered in blood we should just give up it's too dangerous last time yuo zuin was probably only able to get through due to luck even other heavenly geniuses on the same level as him are unable to get through the spatial channel is filled with too many dangers the strongest spatial blades can even easily slay world kings so it's impossible for little divine lords like us to get through a man sighed and shook his head he was supporting the bloody expert who had just come out but the people inside are in danger we can't just give up on them we need to find a way to communicate with them there must be a way for us to join forces maybe with people from the outside and inside joining forces we can break through this spatial wall that's right the old devil race is guarding the channel and is working in collusion with the devil race as snakes of the same pit they might be brewing some sinister scheme to destroy our human race at this critical time we cannot give up if the senior experts are unable to get through then that leaves it up to us to think of a way almost everyone at this gateway was a youngster whose cultivation base was at the divine lord realm they were staring worriedly at the channel what are you smiling at suddenly someone in the crowd shouted at long chen furiously seeing long chen's smile as a mocking sneer countless gazes then turned toward long chen in anger as if they were going to teach long chen a lesson in front of those unfriendly smiles long chen smiled i'm smiling because i'm gratified to see that the human race has you hot-blooded youngsters now i have hope that this world is more beautiful than i thought this response left people dumbfounded long chen seemed to have no malice but the way he talked like an old man left them feeling displeased Ed suddenly people cried out they saw long chen step into the spatial channel just like that without summoning a manifestation or anything he vanished from everyone's sight boom after that a heaven-shaking explosion erupted as that spatial channel exploded a pillar of divine light pierced through the world chapter three thousand five hundred sixty nine divine light pierced through the world instantly creating a giant opening in the spatial gateway staring into that hole people saw endless devil beasts on the other side they also saw a tiny speck fall amongst them it was long chen world extermination lightning radiance a thunderous cry reached them after that an explosion of lightning turned those devil beasts into a mass of flesh and blood and some of that came flying back through the channel as a result startled cries rang out the people staring into the hole had no time to dodge and were directly struck by a current of flesh and blood that immense current then crashed through mountains and countless people popped out of it by that time the spatial channel had closed once more leaving behind only stunned experts they were all silent it, when long chen entered the chaotic spatial current he could sense those powerful spatial blades he had experience in that regard so he directly charged through to the end of the spatial channel once he was on the other side powerful devil beasts attacked this attack could be seen from the other side of the channel and it came from over ten mid-stage world king earthen dragons they actually knew a combined attack it was quick and vicious definitely capable of killing anyone caught off guard if long chen had not been prepared he might have very well died it was only now that long chen could see this place clearly it was a den of devil beasts and they were practically endless it was as if they had set up a heaven encompassing net just to make sure that anyone that came through the spatial channel would be sending themselves to their deaths huo linger was still absorbing the yanzu flame so long chen directly summoned lei linger as a result lightning ravaged this space slaughtering those devil beasts however at that moment long chen's heart suddenly shook terrifying auras were rising in the distance and they gave him the chills 
late stage world king devil beasts long chen's expression changed slightly it should not be assumed that he could dominate late stage world king devil beasts just because he could kill late stage world king heavenly flamed spirits and late stage world king humans devil beasts that were capable of cultivating to that level were not ordinary devil beasts they had to be species with major origins powerful bloodline inheritances and terrifying divine abilities there were millions of species of devil beasts and different species had different divine abilities even with a world domain divine item in hand a late stage world king of the human race was not a match for a devil beast in the same realm normally it would take several people in the same realm to join forces before people dared to fight one devil beast as for the auras that long chen sensed now they were definitely not ordinary furthermore there were dozens of them the disturbance here had actually drawn out dozens of late stage world king devil beasts hence long chen didn't dare to tarry he didn't even bother gathering the precious devil cores and lightning wings already spread on his back using the lightning falcon races movement art he flew off he had just flown off when the void behind him exploded one giant figure after another appeared chasing after him damnable human race stop right there roared one of those giant devil beasts oh a beast speaking the human language long chen couldn't help shouting back he instantly realized that the devil beasts here were different from the lower grade ones that he usually encountered they were higher grade devil beasts and it only made sense for them to be able to speak damnable human race stop right there i will tear you to pieces another furious roar came over they clearly heard him this response instantly made long chen relax for it to say such a thing it seemed that their intelligence was very average he was no fool why would he stop and be torn apart seeing that they had some intelligence did move long chen if he could capture them and do a soul search or perhaps a slave seal perhaps he could learn some secrets however after counting he saw that there were twenty-seven late-stage world king devil beasts after a moment's hesitation long chen gave up on that enticing thought he still didn't know the situation in this place and it wasn't worth the risk after thinking through it long chen's lightning wings accelerated he was like a shooting star vanishing across the horizon those devil beasts were instantly thrown off the lightning falcon races movement art gave them unrivaled speed this was the trump card that allowed long chen to act so recklessly if he couldn't beat someone he could always run and no one could do anything to him after flying a bit long chen noticed a city in the distance so he went over to take a look however the city was already in ruins there was desolation everywhere the broken buildings were clearly done by devil beasts but within these ruins he didn't see any signs of battle or any blood it was as if the people inside the city had retreated leaving an empty city that the devil beasts then destroyed from the ruins he found a transportation formation however it was also destroyed furthermore from the marks left over it seemed to have been destroyed by the human race could it be that the devil beasts here know how to use the human race's transportation formations long chen was surprised by this otherwise it didn't make sense for them to break their own transportation formations long chen investigated but found no secret transportation formations he then took out the map again fortunately this map that the huayan trading company had given him was detailed enough even this tiny city of the old devil star field could be found on it this is nothing more than a remote place whose main purpose was a transportation node for people entering the old devil star field eyeing the map long chen saw a row of irregular white spots and instantly understood 
the white spots were like a dotted line stretching into the depths of the old devil's star field that was where the real cities were clearly this place was still considered the wilderness there was still a long way until he reached the core region without any transportation formations long chen could only fly on his own he was fast but the old devil star field was enormous in order to guarantee that he would always be in his peak condition he would rest for an hour every now and then after two days of flying the curious thing was that he didn't encounter any other devil beasts or any humans everything was strangely calm when long chan followed the map to a large city just as he was about to get near the city rumbling sounds rang out battleships then came whistling out of the void they were quite domineering in size and form looking like metal beasts also runes flowed around their entire bodies and a murderous aura came from them they were very impressive search noveloon come for the original there were dozens of them and they flew right past long chen's head the sound of space being broken and the heaven's dome being torn apart sent waves blasting in every direction following that furious roars came from ahead of them the entire world instantly became dark as countless devil beasts that had been hidden slumbering in this place were now attacked by these battleships the battleships unleashed waves of divine swords upon the devil beasts in front of these divine swords those devil beasts were as weak as paper and instantly torn through their blood dyed the sky red what powerful battleships long chen sighed in amazement he rushed forward and after climbing a mountain he saw the ancient city in the distance and an endless sea of devil beasts around it there attacking to lift the siege long chen's heart shook chapter three thousand five hundred seventy this giant city had its grand formation protecting it but outside of that barrier was an endless sea of devil beasts the devil beasts weren't attacking and simply patrolled the city but seeing the battleships coming they immediately launched an assault on the battleships even the weakest of those devil beasts was an early stage immortal king while the majority were late stage immortal kings amongst them was a group of early stage world kings leading them in battle when the battleships appeared outside the city the city's formation burst open and more battleships came flying out from inside as well it seemed that they were planning on collapsing on the devil beasts from both sides two groups of battleships wove through the sea of devil beasts sharp arrows came flying out of them accurately piercing the heads of the devil beasts and making them explode they forcibly slaughtered a bloody path through the devil beasts these battleships were truly killing machines wherever they went flesh and blood flew any beast in their way died Boom. just as the two lines of battleships were about to converge the earth exploded and giant figures came flying out from underground it was actually another group of battleships however the original battleships were golden while these new ones were black as soon as they appeared the two lines of battleships panicked the battleships from inside the city seemed to want to go back while the ones that had flown over wanted to leave in that moment of hesitation more rumbling rang out from up in the sky one giant figure after another descended like mountains now there were thousands of mid-stage world king devil beasts as well as over ten late stage world king devil beasts the two lines of warships were surrounded what is going on long chen was startled those black warships didn't seem friendly long chen then stealthily crept closer to the core of the battlefield ah ha you've fallen for our trap hurry up and surrender i swear on my leon family's reputation not to harm a single hair on any of you an elder's voice rang out from atop one of the black battleships following that shout the devil beasts that were crazily attacking also came to a stop 
they simply surrounded the battleships in layers upon layers the luo family's reputation does your luo family actually have a reputation even your empress was killed because of you what face do you have to talk about reputation you traitors you won't have a good death our heavenly dragon divine armor college only has heroes that will die standing we have no scum that will kneel to live so what if we die senior apprentice brother duo ran will definitely come to avenge us brothers don't be afraid we'll fight to the death with them using our blood to show that we do not submit a quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. A moving voice came from within one of the golden battleships, and divine light suddenly exploded from out of that battleship. It actually directly crashed toward the opposing battleships in a suicidal attack. Kyo ran. Long Chen's heart leaped. Was it someone else with the same name? Courting death, the elder's furious roar came from the black battleship. It didn't even have time to dodge and hastily activated its defenses. Boop. As a result, both battleships crashed together, and their fragments exploded in every direction. After that, from within those fragments came countless experts in battle armor and wielding weapons. Those experts wore either golden armor or black armor, but in any case, they were equipped to the teeth. Their entire bodies were covered, including their faces. However, based on their auras, they were mostly divine lords and immortal kings. With the support of their armor, though, they unleashed astonishing power. An immortal king activated all the runes of his armor and unleashed an attack that slayed a mid-stage world king devil beast. At this moment, the ancient city's formation shuddered and warships lined up from within, seemingly about to come out and assist. Don't come. This is the Luo family's trap. If you come out, you'll fall for their trap, shouted an expert in golden armor. This person seemed to be one of the leaders. He was the one to talk to that elder and had mentioned Kyo Ren's name. Although he was only a divine lord, in his armor, he possessed absolutely astonishing power that was not at all inferior to the immortal kings. He flitted to and fro amongst the crowd, maintaining a uniform battle formation. Seeing that person's movements, Long Chen was delighted. He was now sure that the Guo Ran this person had mentioned was the Guo Ran he knew. This battle formation was clearly the Dragon Blood Legion's formation. This youngster was correct. There were so many late-stage World King Devil Beasts around, but only the mid-stage and early-stage ones were attacking. It was obviously a trap. The Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College is full of old fools who refuse to learn anything new. Since you refuse to accept my Luo family's kindness, you can just die. Seeing that the city's reinforcements actually paused, the black armored expert was enraged. He directly ordered the true slaughter to start. Boom! The elder hacked his blades at the youngster, causing the latter to grunt. His weapons were actually shattered. This black armored elder was an early stage world king, but with his armor, his power was comparable to a mid stage or even late stage world king. As a result, after receiving a full power attack from him, that youngster was immediately unable to endure. Senior apprentice brother to who? Seeing him injured, the others fighting with him were enraged. The formations instantly grew chaotic as they charged at that black armored elder. Fools, what did I keep telling you? You can't let the formations get messy. That youngster saw the formations in disarray and coughed up blood. The divine light of his armor instantly dimmed. That last blow had already given him a serious injury. But the sight of the formations shattering disturbed his emotions so intensely that his condition worsened. Die. This is the result of not listening to other people's advice. The black armored elder took advantage of this, shooting through their midst like black lightning. His blade then pierced toward the youngster's chest. 
It was quick and ruthless, leaving them with no chance of saving him. Senior apprentice brother too who. Seeing this, the other disciples were enraged, but powerless to stop this. Suddenly a huge explosion shook this world and sparks flew. A black-robed man then appeared like a battle-god having descended from the heavens. He held a blood-colored saber that was blocking the black-armored elder's blade. While the devil beasts were entirely focused on the battle, he took the advantage to slip through their encirclement. Long Chen's arrival shocked people. However, while everyone was shocked, only some were happy about it. Why not just live a proper life? Why be a dog? A hand wrapped in violet kai swung through the air, striking that elder in his face. One this is a different Liuo than the Liuo family that Long Chen's mother is from. Chapter 3571 Boom Long Chen's slap sent that black armored elder tumbling back. The immense force shattered his helmet, revealing an old face that was a bloody mess. Long Chen's slap contained shocking power and great skill as well. He had struck the man in the small crack of his helmet, which was why it was destroyed. It can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Navaloon. Come the battle armors here were all very well made. The helmet was made of several pieces that could be meticulously controlled. When fighting, it was possible to cover the entire head or expose it entirely. Long Chen had taken advantage of this trait to shatter the helmet. It was precise and vicious. At this moment, the elder coughed up blood and his teeth sprayed through the air. He then struck the other black armored experts behind him, knocking them away. The entire scene became chaotic. Enter the city. Long Chen shouted and grabbed Tu Hu beside him, flying over to the city. The others immediately controlled the battleships to follow behind him. By the time the black armored elder stabilized himself, Long Chen and the others were already right in front of the city. The city's experts immediately activated the formation to draw them in. Bastard! The black-robed elder was ashen with rage upon seeing them enter the city. Their entire plan was now in ruins. Should we directly attack and completely wipe them out? suggested another black armored expert. Boom! As a result, the elder directly punched that person in the head. Sparks flew, and with a grunt, that person was sent flying. Are you an idiot? What did we work so hard to set up this trap for? Grow a brain. The elder had nowhere else to unleash his anger, so that unlucky fellow became his target. That fellow didn't get up even after a long time, and the people beside him were too afraid to help him. They just foolishly stood there, not making a sound for fear of facing a similar fate. Something unexpected happened. It seems that this person isn't a native expert. Did someone from the outside world get in? said another person. This person was also a world king, and his voice sounded rather old. The black armored elder shook his head. It should not be possible. So many experts of the old devil race are guarding the channel. Not even a fly could get through. Although those old devil fellows are strong, their heads aren't very good. It is still possible for someone to slip through in a moment of carelessness. We should send some people to confirm. If a large number of experts get through the channel, things won't be so simple, said that person. The black armored elder sank into thought. Fine, send someone to ask. The old devil race really isn't reliable. And what about our side? Should we change the plan? We're already exposed, and they won't fall for it again. In that case, perhaps we should directly. That person looked at the city and made a throat-cutting gesture. The black-armored elder shook his head. It's no good. Anyway, even if we're exposed, it's not that important. Surround them. I refuse to believe that they will abandon everyone in this city. Even if they know the danger, they will still take the risk to send them some goods. We've only exposed a fraction of our forces. 
even if they come with ten times what they did this time we can still devour them with that no one else spoke they just looked toward the city for some reason they felt waves of unease when they looked at that black-robed man this youngster made them feel afraid eh? many thanks for saving my life once they were in the city with countless experts around two who took off his armor and thanked long chen respectfully the others also took off their armor looking at long chen if it hadn't been for long chen they would have died out there that black armored elder would have definitely killed them in the most brutal humiliating fashion in order to grind away the morale of the people in the city hence every single one of them was grateful to long chen however what shocked them was that this black-robed man that had saved them was nothing more than a mid-stage divine lord. Yet, he was able to destroy the armor of a world king with a slap. It was truly beyond their imagination. I want to ask you, is the Gua Ran you mentioned about this tall, with a single hairline like this? He also has a small gourd-shaped birthmark on the back of his left hand, said Long Chen yes 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 vade brother you know senior apprentice brother guaran Chu hu cried out excitedly the others who had come with him looked at long chen with astonishment yes i know him i'm very familiar with him long chen smiled how could he not know guaran when they learned that long chen knew guaran Chu hu and the others instantly grew friendlier after all Although Long Chen had saved them, they still had to be on guard against him. Through their explanation, Long Chen learned that Guo Ran had managed to do quite well for himself inside the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. In just over a year, he went from an ordinary disciple to a heaven master. His powerful talent in forging shone brightly, and he became one of the four heroes of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College having countless worshippers. He was very famous, even within the entire All-Devil Star field as a whole. Big brother, are you not a native to the All-Devil Star field? asked one of the disciples. Correct, I'm from another star field. I broke through their barricade to come here. I was originally planning on saving just one person and conveniently picking up some wealth, but I didn't expect to have such an unexpected gain. There's no need to question my identity. I have no malice toward any of you, said Long Chen. That person blushed. Although Long Chen said that he knew you a ran, how could they trust him just like that? If he was with their enemies and was intentionally tricking them to gain their trust, they might be doomed. However, just who was Long Chen? It was impossible for him to not know what they were thinking. In order to prevent them from beating around the bush, he got straight to the point. My apologies for our rudeness. For a hero like you to descend upon my clear rain city, please hurry in and rest. This isn't the place to talk. A late-stage world king that had been standing to the side the entire time finally had a chance to interject. To who also felt bad. For them to just be standing on top of the city walls and talking was truly awkward. It was more like an interrogation. Big brother, please come in. That's right, I still haven't asked for your name yet, said Tu Hu. Long Chen. What? When they heard Long Chen's name, everyone from the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College jumped, their jaws dropping. They stared at Long Chen in disbelief. Chapter 3572 You are the boss that senior apprentice brother Gua Ran is constantly talking about? Asked Tu Hu, his gaze now absolutely reverent. It had to be known that Gua Ran was one of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's four heroes, and the only one with no background. He relied on his own efforts to climb to his current height. In just a year, he grasped the divine forging arts that countless people could not comprehend, even after decades of study. Even the college's senior experts said that he was a genius who lived for forging. 
Yuaran relied on his own talent and perseverance to subdue countless experts. It could be said that his rise in the heavenly dragon divine armor college was a miraculous story. This novel is available on Novelone, comment was unknown just how many worshippers he had in the heavenly dragon divine armor college. They all viewed him as an idol, learning from him. However, this miraculous genius often mentioned a name. That name was Long Chen, a mysterious man, who Guo Ran called his boss. Hence, those disciples were all very curious about this mysterious man. Every time someone praised Guo Ran as a genius, he would say that in this world, other than his boss, there were no other geniuses. That was why when Long Chen revealed his name, all the disciples of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College were stunned. They had actually met a legendary existence. Long Chen's heart warmed. He hadn't expected Guo Ran to be constantly talking about him. He had never come to the All Devil Star Field, but people already knew him. That's right, I am his boss. Long Chen smiled. By admitting it, Long Chen made those disciples look at him like he was a monster. No wonder you are so terrifying even without battle armor. So you are senior apprentice brother Guo Ran's boss. They no longer doubted Long Chen in the slightest. Long Chen asked what happened here. Why is the wall between the worlds closed? As soon as he said this, he noticed that the atmosphere was off. Almost everyone had hateful expressions. You must not know. Our All Devil Star Field, ugh. Tu Hu clenched his teeth and told Long Chen the story about the All Devil Star Field. The Old Devil Star Field's human race had been enemies with the Old Devil race for many generations. They had fought for millions and millions of years, fighting over space to live. Their enmity was as deep as the sea. The human race relied on their powerful forging arts to equip themselves, raising their killing power. They constantly innovated, constantly coming up with new ways to grow, creating all kinds of battleships and battle armors. Their rate of development increased over time. According to reason, the human race should have gradually come to suppress the old devil race. However, it was the opposite. As the human race grew stronger, their survival grew more difficult. That was because the hearts of the humans had changed. As people got stronger, some people also grew breedy. The old devil Starfield's land was mostly completely uncivilized. They were occupied by the devil beasts. However, those regions contained all kinds of precious ores that had never been excavated, medicinal plants that had lived for countless years. Many of those were unique to the All Devil Star Field and could be sold for exorbitant prices in the outside world. It could be said that if the All Devil race was destroyed, the All Devil Star Field would become a treasured land with endless resources. Just a few million years ago, the human race grew so strong that they began to suppress the old devil race. But then, as humans fought over the resources, each harboring their own sinister motives, they suffered a great defeat. That defeat left the human race badly wounded and countless experts fell. Due to the various major forces still harboring selfish desires, they kept their unique forging arts an absolute secret refusing to share them with others. As a result, so many experts died, and so many major forces were wiped out. Many secret inheritances were never passed down and thus lost forever. Furthermore, after that battle, the human race could only struggle at death's door. They had not managed to recover it even after all these years. And even after all of that, the human race did not reflect on what had gone wrong. No, instead, they blamed each other until they fractured. As they fought off the devil beasts, they also had to fight off their fellow humans. There was no way for the human race to reclaim any territory. The land that their ancestors had fought so hard for began to recede. As for the current era, although the condition here had started to take a turn for the better, people's hearts were still like scattered sand. 
it was very difficult for them to show any unity. The most aggravating thing was that traitors had appeared in the human race, colluding with the old devil race to harm their fellow humans. The Luo clan was one of them. The Luo clan had once been the most glorious family in the old devil star field. They produced countless heavenly geniuses and powerful experts, possessing a supreme inheritance. But with their skilled forging arts, the Luo clan's traitors had created a seal that isolated the old devil star field. Incited by the Luo clan, many humans also surrendered to the old devil race but the majority were still fighting with their lives on the line, swearing to fight to the death against the old devil race. How foolish! The old devil race is a pack of beasts. Is their word worthy of trust? Once they dominate the old devil star field, they'll devour these people as well. They are digging their own graves. Long Chen couldn't help sneering at the Luo clan. Exactly! but they are in a desperate state and cannot see so far. Furthermore, some people are naturally cowards. They forget that their own ancestors fought to the death for the human race. By surrendering to the old devil race, they are betraying their ancestors, said Tu Hu hatefully. Even an outsider like senior apprentice brother Long Chen can see it clearly. Those people are all idiots, said one of the disciples of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College resentfully. They are not idiots, they are cowards. They don't dare to face death. They also know that they won't have a good ending, but they still have some hope for a stroke of luck. Furthermore, even if they do die later, it's a bit better than dying now. To put it frankly, their bones have softened. Actually, this is very good, said Long Chen. How is it good? Tu Hu and the others were dumbfounded. When the waves wash away the sand, they leave behind the gold. Through this tribulation, I trust that the old devil star field will be reborn. Even if it means cutting away your own flesh to remove the poison, once the storm passes, the rainbow will shine brightly. After the tribulation comes new growth, said Long Chen with a smile. Tu Hu and the others nodded. That was very reasonable. Those that didn't surrender had joined forces against their common enemies. It wasn't like before when they were all fighting amongst each other. All things had good points and bad points. However, right now, they were in their most terrible state and could only see the bad side, not the good side. The bad news was... The old devil race was going all out, and human traitors were scheming for them. The situation did not bode well for the surviving human race. Senior apprentice brother Tu Hu, we came to send resources, but now we are trapped. Should we ask for aid from the college? Asked one of the college's disciples. Tu Hu was their leader. No need. Before Tu Hu answered, Long Chen spoke up. Prepare yourselves. In a bit, I'll lead you to wipe out these fellows. Ed, Tu Hu, and the others practically didn't dare to believe their ears. Chapter 3573 Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, you're saying. Tu Hu and the others stared at Long Chen in shock. They thought that they had misheard. You didn't mishear. The resources have been sent over, and your mission is complete. I want to go with you to the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. In this situation, we have to kill those hateful fellows outside. For now, rest for half a day, said Long Chen. Tu Hu and the others came to send resources to clear Rain City. This was just one small city, but it had tens of millions of people living in it. Despite being a small city, it had a long history and a thick foundation. So even though there was an endless army of devil beasts outside, they didn't dare to attack the city. Even if they did manage to break down Clear Rain City in an attack, they would have to pay a terrible price. As a result, the Luo clan's people directed the devil beasts to only surround them, but not attack. With that being said, 
Clear Rain City's grand formation had to be kept active at all times. That came at a huge price. Once all the resources were used up, the city would easily be destroyed. Before this, the Luo clan's people had not exposed themselves, and the various major forces all took turns sending resources to Clear River City. Although they were attacked by the devil beasts, they still managed to quickly deliver the resources. It was too difficult. After several probing times, the major forces decided to send more resources at once. Previously, the resources that they sent over would only last the city a month. This time, taking advantage of while their enemy's attention lay elsewhere, they had sent over half a year's worth of resources. With this, Clear River City could protect itself temporarily, and they could gather their attention on the All Devil Racy's main forces. However, who would have thought that they would suddenly be caught in a trap here? If Long Chen hadn't appeared, their battleships and resources would all have been snatched. It was truly a narrow escape. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen? Is that really an option? If we ask the college for aid, senior apprentice brother Guo Ran will immediately bring a huge army when he learns that you've come, said Tu Hu hesitantly. No, Ni. If you trust me, in a bit, just listen to my directions. If you feel like it's not safe, you can stay here. I'll go to the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College myself, said Long Chen lightly. Hearing that, Tu Hu instantly understood that Long Chen was displeased. Clenching his teeth, he said, Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, please don't be angry. We will listen to you. Although Long Chen had saved his life, Tu Hu felt like this kind of plan was far too cavalier. They might all be wiped out. However, due to his trust in Guo Ran, he chose to firmly trust Long Chen. That was because Guo Ran always called himself number two. For Guo Ran to recognize Long Chen as boss, Long Chen could not possibly be an ordinary person. With that response, Long Chen nodded. To the elder, he said, City Lord, in a bit, prepare yourself and gather your troops. Listen to my directions, and we will wipe out the other side's elites in one move. All right. The city lord directly agreed. After that, Tu Hu and the others went to rest and service their battle armors. Their battle armors were like a second life to them. In battle, maybe some parts would be damaged. So, they had to repair them, or it would affect their power. Hours later... When Tu Hu and the others were done, the experts in the city were gathered and waiting for orders. At this moment, the grand formation rumbled and countless runes revolved around it. Divine light then stabbed into the dome of the heavens. The endless devil beasts were blinded by this sudden piercing light. They couldn't see anything. This sudden change caused an uproar amongst the devil beast army. As for the Luo clan's experts lying in the dark, they summoned their battle armors, peering at clear rain city. Suddenly, the void shuddered. A figure was transported out and appeared right in front of them. Not good. When they saw that black figure, the Luo clan's experts were appalled. A gust of wind blew by and a saber slashed down from the heavens, striking that world king of the Luo clan. It's just one person. Kill him! That world king shouted, his armor's runes flowing. Long Chen's previous slap had cost him all his face, so he was filled with hatred for Long Chen. Now that Long Chen had come out on his own, it was as if he didn't even place them in his eyes. Boo! Long Chen's saber seemed completely ordinary, but when it struck that black armored elder's blade, the Menghong saber simply rumbled and Violet Kai gushed out like a volcano. With a huge explosion, a Kai wave blasted apart the other experts of the Luo clan that had come to help the elder. Long Chen was now capable of controlling the power of his saber naturally. He had made huge improvements from the last battle. His control over his Violet Kai had also reached a new level. 
although it hadn't reached the realm of absolute perfect control it could now be unleashed and withdrawn as he pleased with that ability he could easily con his opponents in battle at the same time he was even able to summon his violet kai without summoning his manifestation that allowed his normal combat power to soar it was in the starry sea births violet kai state that his violet kai was at its strongest it gave long chen explosive power but it also cost a lot of energy to keep it active furthermore it came at a heavy burden to the body one mistake and he would overdraft himself if it hadn't been for xia guhong's arrival last time he'd have lost his life hence unless long chen had no other choice he did not dare to unleash his manifestation his violet kai was clearly still not dense enough leaving him unable to fight for a long time if he wanted more violet kai he would need to fully transform the life fate enlightenment palace divine gate and nethergate stars first noveloon come despite that long chen's violet kai in this state was still tyrannical using the violet kai long chen activated the ming hong saber's runes although he was only able to activate a very small portion of them the ming hong saber was working together with him the combined power of man and saber was definitely not something an average expert could withstand the black armored elder received this attack head-on as a result cracks appeared over his weapon and the shining runes instantly dimmed what it? that elder was absolutely shocked long chen's saber had not just cracked his weapon but it had also damaged his armor horrified he directly fled without hesitation regretfully he was too slow let alone in his current state when his armor was damaged even in his peak condition he could not match long chen's speed just as he turned the mingong saber stabbed him through his back and out his chest don't don't kill me the elder cried out in horror regretfully with a quiver from long chen's arm his armor and his body both exploded just then rays of divine light appeared chu hu and the rest of the clear rain city's experts appeared attacking the luo clan's experts before they even understood what was going on it was at this time that the ground exploded and giant figures came charging out they were all late stage world king devil beasts there were over forty of them seeing them long chen formed hand seals and golden dragon scales covered his body with golden flames burning at the same time a holy wild dragon might crash down find the original at Navaloon, come blood ignition dragon roars at the nine heavens shouted long chen following that a brilliant dragon cry resounded throughout heaven and earth although that looked down on all others caused the world to shake chapter three thousand five hundred seventy four when this dragon cry rang out all the devil beasts quivered and froze it was like they had become fools the dragon cry resounded throughout heaven and earth like thunder exploding in people's minds let alone the devil beasts even to who and the others froze for a moment their heads blank they temporarily lost their minds golden flames burned around long chen within those flames was a golden dragon coiling around him it was just like an ancient dragon god had descended a dragon god whose divine might made all ten thousand beasts submit this was long chen's first time igniting his essence blood to activate his dragon might seeing that the devil beasts were frozen long chen shouted attack his voice drew everyone out of their stupor and they quickly took out their crossbows unleashing sharp arrows aimed right at the vitals of those late stage world king devil beasts arrows shot through their eyes noses ears and other places where their defenses were weakest during normal times those devil beasts would use divine abilities to cover up those weaknesses but today under the dragon might they were in a sluggish state and unable to defend themselves 
thus those arrows pierced right into them those arrows then all exploded after stabbing into their heads the explosions most certainly took their lives even if they were late-stage world king devil beasts countless devil beasts fell to the ground without even a grunt after a wave of arrows tens of thousands of them were slain these were the elites of the devil beasts army with their elites dead the entire army became like a tiger with no fangs and eagle with no claws they were no longer any threat Pil at this moment hundreds of thousands of experts within clear rain city attacked hundreds of battleships came out without the threat of the late stage world king devil beasts their battleships could freely slaughter these devil beasts those devil beasts only woke up from the effect of the dragon might at this time it was like they had woken up from a nightmare to see another nightmare all their leaders were dead so they panicked and began to flee in every direction before fleeing they were in the proper rank and file that the luo clan had told them to get into now that they fled they were like headless flies randomly crashing into each other with their giant bodies they repeatedly crashed into each other in the narrow space not even knowing which direction to go any more quite a few of them actually ended up running toward clear river city Chu hu and the others then led the army to slaughter them the devil beast had lost their commanders and were in a chaotic state in just a moment corpses filled the ground long chen retracted his dragon might with a smile this was his first time since coming to the immortal world that he used his dragon might to beat his enemies this dragon might had always been a rather useless ability against higher intelligence beasts it didn't have much effect against brainless beasts especially insects and other strange beasts the dragon might had almost no effect at all it was only against those beasts that were too intelligent and were too dumb that its maximum potential could be seen however long chen wasn't a true dragon only by igniting his dragon blood could he unleash the full powered dragon might today long chen had finally tasted this power and its effect was even better than he had imagined even late stage world king devil beasts were unable to recover from the effects of the dragon might within half a breath's time in that moment they lost any ability to move or defend half a breath's time was more than enough to decide life and death battleships weaved through the battlefield and countless armored experts slaughtered their enemies displaying shocking killing power their armors contained killing moves in every single spot they could unleash astonishing power with their armors on it was a magnificent sight this battle only lasted half an instant's sticks worth of time before coming to an end other than a small number of devil beasts fleeing in the chaos the rest were all slain it went without saying that the old devil starfield's experts were very familiar with the weaknesses of the devil beasts they were always launching mortal blows with high efficiency furthermore there were people specialized in cleaning up the battlefield with the battle over and the battlefield cleaned up the speed at which things concluded truly made people click their tongues in amazement senior apprentice brother long chen you really are amazing so senior apprentice brother guo ran really was telling the truth you are a truly unrivaled existence once they were back in the city tu hu and the others looked worshipfully at long chen this unbeatable battle to them was easily settled by long chin furthermore they didn't lose a single fighter even now when they looked outside of clear rain city and didn't see a sign of that devil beast army they couldn't quite believe it it still felt like they were dreaming chu hu was one of guo ran's worshippers it could be said that he prostrated himself toward guo ran in worship but every time guo ran would say that his boss was the real heavenly genius of the world and that he couldn't even reach a tenth of his boss's glory at that time tu hu and the others hadn't quite believed it a quick look at Navaloon come will leave you more fulfilled 
However, the dragon might that Long Chen displayed this time had completely suppressed the army of late stage world king devil beasts. That gave the human experts time to completely wipe out their elites. As the battle was won in less than an instant's sticks worth of time, they finally understood that Kyuo Ran had not been exaggerating. At the same time, they understood that perhaps only an expert like Long Chen could make a heavenly genius like Guo Ran call him boss. Now, when they looked at Long Chen, it was like they were looking at a god. Even the city lord, a late-stage world king, was full of gratitude toward him. After the devil beasts surrounding the city were killed, it was like the entire world had brightened. A heavy weight fell off of their hearts. That moving feeling simply could not be expressed with words. There are no words that can express my gratitude. Everyone in the clear rain city will forever remember this favor, promised the city lord. Long Chen smiled. You're too courteous. As fellow members of the human race, we naturally must be united against our enemies. Speaking of which, I have a presumptuous request. Those devil beasts... The city lord clapped his forehead and apologetically said, I'm sorry, I completely forgot about this matter. I've dealt with the devil beasts' corpses. Those are your battle spoils, Long Chen, hastily waved his hand. No, no, you misunderstand. I don't need anything from the devil beasts other than their flesh and blood. Once you split up those devil beasts, if you don't need the flesh and blood... Help me gather them. Don't throw them away. How can we do that? These are all your battle spoils. You saved us from a crisis. If we take your battle spoils, won't others mock us? Said the city lord. The people that had been in charge of cleaning up the battlefield also came forward now. Everything else really is useless for me. I just want their flesh and blood. I'll ask seniors to help me deal with it. I'll come back for it later. Other than that, clear rain city cannot be careless. The other side might very well return. Prepare your defenses, said Long Chen. He then turned to Tu Hu. Brother Tu Hu, let's go. Bring me to the illustrious and famous heavenly dragon Divine Armor College. All right. Tu Hu was delighted and invited Long Chen onto a battleship. In front of Clear Rain City's countless experts, they flew off. Chapter 3575 The battleship whistled through the air at great speed, and Long Chen was placed at the core. The view was best here. From this spot, he could see endless mountains, plains, and bodies of water, but he didn't see any signs of human construction along the way. Even once they reached the core of the All Devil Star Field, he didn't see any humans. The majority of this world was wild territory. Even the native experts with maps of the Old Devil Star Field could only move about in a small area. This world was truly filled with endless potential. However, to excavate that potential, they had to construct more strongholds and cities. With the cities as the focus points, they would slowly spread, taking over more territory. The human race had once been so glorious that they occupied half of the Old Devil Star Field's land. Regretfully, the human race lost to their own greed. Their former cities and strongholds had long since become covered in wild grass, broken by the encroachment of mighty trees. There was already no way to tell what they originally looked like. Two who controlled the battleship, pointing out some things to Long Chen on the way. He pointed to some ruins of cities, explaining their history. Even an iron wall can break if the interior crumbles. The human race's power does not need to be questioned, but their greed can blind their eyes, not letting them see clearly. Long Chen sighed. He had seen such a thing many times. It didn't matter where he went, this was the common problem amongst the human race. To tell the truth, in our current state, we really can't see much hope. The higher-ups are too stupid, interjected one of the disciples of the heavenly dragon Divine Armor College. 
silence how can you rattle the army's hearts shouted tuhu angrily senior apprentice brother tuhu aren't you just trying to lie to yourself to tell the truth the reason we follow you is because of your character if we have to all die together then at least we won't be alone if it weren't for you and senior apprentice brother kuo ran we wouldn't even have the desire to fight the higher-ups are constantly fighting amongst themselves forming factions that are still fighting each other there is no way to pull against this crazy tide of the devil beasts with them being like that what hope do we have said that disciple after that two who wanted to chide him yet after thinking a long time he could only clench his teeth and say nothing clearly he was also very dissatisfied with the higher ups just because you can't see hope doesn't mean that there isn't any why complain about the higher ups if you have the energy to complain why not go improve yourself you can become the higher ups your life is in your own hands only complaining is the most useless thing that will only get you in the habit of pushing the blame onto others in that case even if your cultivation base reaches that height and you are in the position of the higher ups your attitude will not change and you will live to become the existence that you detest said long chen shaking his head long chen's words caused everyone to fall silent perhaps you feel like you were born at the wrong time even before you grew up calamity struck that is very unfair to you but look back at history which illustrious figure grew up in a world of peace which one wasn't forced to soar through adversity to climb out from a pile of their enemies corpses you feel like this is the worst era that is from the viewpoint of the weak but to someone strong this is the best era whether or not a blade is sharp always depends on whether the whetstone is strong enough it is the hard times that create the hero every dark era causes heroes to rise up don't look at things from the viewpoint of a supporting role that is too pitiful we will be the main characters of this era said long chen it can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Navaloon palm senior apprentice brothers teachings are right that disciple that had been previously chided by two who nodded long chen smiled and patted him on the shoulder don't be so pessimistic all things have two sides you see how dark humanity's character is but that is also how bright humanity's character is do you know in the outside world countless young cultivators just like yourselves are trying to charge through the chaotic spatial gateway they are doing their best to learn what is happening inside the old evil star field long chen told them about what he had encountered just outside the old devil star field upon hearing this everyone's heart was moved they thought that the old devil star field had been forgotten by the rest of the world unexpectedly there were still so many people willing to risk their lives to charge through how embarrassing the outside world hasn't abandoned us but we've given up on ourselves said tuhu dejectedly senior apprentice brother tuhu it was me who said those demoralizing words said that disciple apologetically so what if you were the one to say it the main thing is that i was thinking the same thing said tuhu glaring at him ah oh, everyone laughed at that the tense atmosphere was wiped away senior apprentice brother long chen what is going on with the spatial channel asked a disciple they knew that the spatial gateways leading to the outside world had been closed they were all guarded by devil beasts but these disciples didn't know the exact situation it was only after long chen explained that they learned that the spatial channel only allowed divine lords to enter and that the wild spatial blades inside would kill even divine venerates but even so there were still so many people trying to reach them through it although it might sound very foolish it was also very moving 
those people all hope to find the rhythm or spatial node of that spatial channel and construct a stable channel. If they could, they would have a way to send reinforcements and save them. They had not been forgotten. They were not alone. This one point alone gave them endless hope. After encountering Long Chen, their negativity was swept away. They saw hope and felt full of power. Sometimes, the power of the mind was indescribably marvelous. After a few more hours of flying, Tu Hu and the others got off of the battleship. They then patrolled the surroundings for a long time before entering a secret transportation formation. After that transportation, they once more flew off. The old devil's star field had quite a few secret transportation formations that could save people's lives at a critical time. It also allowed them to carry out missions in secret without the old devil race being aware of it. However, the Liuo clan and quite a few other powers had betrayed them, resulting in many secret transportation formations being exposed and destroyed. Only a small portion remained. Without them, it would be even more dangerous to send supplies. A day later, Long Chen finally saw a world covered in a heaven-shrouding grand formation. Tu Hu smiled. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, this is the heavenly dragon domain. It is overseen by our heavenly dragon divine armor college. We are absolutely safe here. The battleships appeared and got close to the formation. After that, the battleships and the formation's surfaces had various differing runes lit up. The battleships then stopped at the edge of the formation. Everyone walked off and went through a checkpoint. This was to avoid enemies sneaking their way in. If Tuhu and the others displayed anything strange, the formation would instantly kill them. Tuhu and the others were long since used to it. They brought Long Chen to the checkpoint, but when they saw the people there, Tuhu's expression changed. Not good. It's actually them. Just then, the people in charge of the checkpoint spotted Tu Hu and the others. Originally, they were sneering at them with disdain, but when they spotted Long Chen, their expressions changed. They instantly summoned their battle armors and surrounded them. How brazen Tu Hu! You actually dared to bring a spy back with you. Guards, come bring him away, shouted their leader. Chapter 3576 Stop Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen is one of us. You better stop before going too far, shouted Tu Hu furiously. The disciples of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College were split into factions. Originally, there were three heavenly geniuses in the college, each with their own faction. Later on, Gua Ran joined and they discovered that he had astonishing forging talent. He forcibly broke the solid structure of the college, becoming the fourth peak heavenly geniuses of the college and turning the three heavenly dragon heroes into four. However, his growth was very difficult. The other three factions all applied pressure on him. For him to climb one step at a time in this environment, it was unknown just how much torment he had to struggle through. Originally, a person like Guo Ran with no foundation and no background should have long since been crushed to death under their pressure. However, his luck was very good. During a Tao discussion, his words were heard by the dean of the college. The dean personally gave Guo Ran some praise, and after that, his position soared. With even the dean speaking up for him, others no longer dared to crush Guo Ran. However, while they didn't dare to want his life, the pressure that they applied in other areas never diminished. That was especially true when Yuo Ran's worshippers formed the fourth faction. They were like water and fire with the other three factions. Although it wasn't to the point of life and death, there were endless squabbles between them. Every time the other side had a chance, they would do their best to humiliate Yuo Ran's side. Although Guo Ran was constantly suppressed by all the other three factions, he still had countless worshippers fully loyal to him. That was because Guo Ran sincerely helped them, teaching them. People followed Guo Ran due to his character. 
However, Ewell Rand's faction was still the weakest of the four factions and was often the target of bullying. As for the higher ups, they seemed to not bother with those things. Even if you reported it, it was meaningless. That was another reason why that disciple would sigh so dispiritedly on the battleship. They felt that the higher ups were worthless. With the current crisis, rather than trying to unite everyone against their common enemies, they continued to allow this kind of internal squabbling. It was truly difficult to endure. Originally, Duo Rand's faction should have been the one guarding this entrance around this time. But some change must have occurred. There was a last-minute shift change. That was why Two whose heart thudded when he saw those people. Silence! Let yourselves be captured and don't resist, or you will be executed, sneered their leader. Clearly, they didn't care if Long Chen was a spy or not. All they wanted was an open reason to attack Tu Hu and the others. Hundreds of guards in armor surrounded them, pointing their weapons at them. They didn't give Tu Hu and the others any chance to summon their armor. Tu Hu quivered from rage. Zhao King, do you know who he is? If you block us, senior apprentice brother Guo Ran won't let you off, roared Tu Hu. That person called Zhao King suddenly had his helmet open, revealing his face. He cast a glance at Long Chen and disdainfully said, Who does he think he is? Even if he personally came with Guo Ran, so what? I'll give you your warning right now. Get on the ground with your hands behind your back, or you'll be executed. I'll give you to the count of three. Don't force me to kill anyone. Free, two. Crash. Suddenly, a hand caught his throat. That metallic armor was as weak as mud in front of that hand. It was instantly crushed. This novel is available on Noveloon. Kan Long Chen had Zhao King's throat in his hand, and he raised him up like a chicken. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Tu Hu and the others cried out in alarm. Just then, over ten people attacked Long Chen at once, their weapons piercing toward him. Suddenly, an explosive sound rang out. It was the sound of metal shattering mixed with the sound of bodies exploding. People didn't even clearly see what had happened before those people exploded along with their armor. They were all killed. Tu Hu and the others were stunned. Long Chen had actually killed people here. Now they were horrified. It was completely forbidden to kill people here. You asked me who I thought I was? Why don't you tell me who you think I am? Long Chen coldly looked at Zhao King. Then, applying a bit more force with his hand, Zhao King's body exploded, transforming into blood mist. Just then, the grand formation rumbled as someone had activated it. Tu Hu and the others' hair then stood on end. They were locked down by the grand formation. Oh! Suddenly, a figure flew out and slashed the grand formation, piercing a hole through it with a sword. What the? Everyone jumped in shock. At some point, a beautiful maiden with a flame sword, wearing a black and red dress, appeared by Long Chen's side. She had pierced the barrier with a single stroke of her sword. The energy that the formation was gathering instantly dissipated. This was naturally Huo Linger. The moment they arrived in Clear Rain City, she had already awakened. It was because she had awakened that Long Chen dared to directly attack those devil beasts. After all, he had only been testing his dragon might back then. If it failed, he would have needed Huo Linger's assistance. The current Huo Linger had finished devouring the Yan Zhu flame. The only regretful thing was that ultimately, she was unable to control the Yan Zhu flame's rooms. That was because there were no core flames within the Yan Zhu flames that she had devoured. Despite that, having devoured so many Yan Zhu flames allowed her to control a trace of the Yan Zhu flame's power although she was unable to do the same as with the ice soul and condense a rune for a big move, just a trace of the Yan Zhu flame's power was already incomparably powerful. 
it possessed terrifying destructive power toward formation barriers in particular thus hugh linger who wielded the true fire sword instantly pierced the barrier the attack brewing by the formation was instantly interrupted however now that a hole was pierced into the barrier an ear-splitting alarm rang out long chen looked back at hu tu and the others sorry i came to the old devil starfield to save someone not to be bullied my time is very precious someone who maliciously wastes my time is harming my life that is my enemy and against my enemies i have never had any mercy since they didn't want to let me in i could only kill my way in just like that long chen stepped through the hole in the barrier and walked toward the city huo linger walked behind him with the true fire sword flames burning around her wherever huo linger went was incinerated by flames the void collapsed and heaven and earth twisted the entire world was about to be ignited by her that terrifying pressure scared others witless senior apprentice brother long chen we can talk properly who too hastily chased after long chen his appearance was truly like he was about to massacre all the inhabitants here if that happened all of them would become villains who dares to come to my heavenly dragon city just then the sky rumbled and countless armored experts appeared the person at the front shouted but that shout was cut off midway when he saw that black figure he was dumbstruck is there anywhere beneath the heavens that i don't dare to go to long chen looked at that figure with a faint smile long chen couldn't see his face but he would forever remember that voice blessed you a ran's armor vanished he then threw himself in front of long chen and knelt on the ground hugging long chen's leg and weeping chapter three thousand five hundred seventy seven huo ran had the same appearance as before however now there was a touch of age on his face it seemed that he had matured quite a bit however when he saw long chen he was like a child that had been aggrieved the emotions that he had been suppressing for a long time burst out tu hu and the others who were familiar with guo ran were all dumbfounded they didn't dare to believe that their hero would kneel in front of someone else and weep. Long Chen's eyes also reddened. He reached out to lift Guo Ran. Get up. You're now one of the four heavenly dragon heroes. Don't embarrass yourself here. Even though that was what Long Chen said, he was also choking back some sobs. Tears flowed down his face as well. As for Guo Ran, he continued to tightly hold Long Chen's leg, refusing to let go. Long Chen pursed, hurry up and let go. I don't want to embarrass myself. Long Chen pulled Guo Ran up. After that, Guo Ran sobbingly said, Boss, I thought that I would never see you again in this lifetime. Seeing that Guo Ran's face had lost some of its old youthfulness, Long Chen felt a bit sorry this brother that had been with him since long ago had always been like a child that refused to grow up he could always be unrestrained and free with long chen by his side for him to have matured so much during this time meant that things had truly been very bitter for him what nonsense as soon as i heard some news about you i immediately came here right our dragon blood legion still needs to fight together in the immortal world what will we do without you long chen wiped away his tears and shook guo ran's shoulders hard that's right without me guo ran even heaven and earth would lose their splendor ha 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 guo ran laughed after seeing long chen again his entire body relaxed he seemed to once more return to his original character just then a fragrant breeze attacked long chen a woman tightly hugged him. Hey, who? Of uh, Zai Kain Kim. Long Chen was startled at first, but he quickly realized that this woman was precisely Zai Kain Kim, someone who had gone through purgatory with him. It was only after giving him a fierce hug that Zai Kain Kim let go and said with a touch of bitter grumbling, You scoundrel, 
you said that you would come find me and you came so late in the end i still came right beautiful lady you've grown up long chen looked at sai kyankian more closely he found that she had truly grown up compared to the last time they met that underripe flavor of a young maiden was gone replaced with a bountiful maturity sai kyankian glared at him i waited a long time for you but you never came i could only marry someone else you came too late long chen laughed that's all right i'd already have so many wives at home i'm not missing one or two long chen and zai kyankian might have gone through life and death together but they had never gotten involved romantically hmph you still don't know how to talk can't you act remorseful zai kyankian glared at him aha it's not bad for you to be able to find someone to marry when i knew you you were as skinny as a chopstick i couldn't even tell the difference between the front and the back what am i remorseful for scoffed long chen search novel loon com for the original you really need a beating zai kyankian beat long chen with her fist and then dragged over a man beside her let me introduce you this is my husband he helped me in my most difficult time i had nothing to repay him with so i married him if you had come earlier i might have married you greetings brother long many thanks for looking after kyankian this man was an early immortal king and looked very refined he definitely looked like a well-behaved and honest person even when zaya kyankian hugged and joked about marrying long chen he didn't get angry instead he actually looked at long chen gratefully this was definitely a pure-hearted and kind person zai kyankian's vision wasn't bad brother it's been hard on you long chen patted him on the shoulder sympathetically and what is that supposed to mean raged sai kyankian you o ran you are in collusion with a spy you have betrayed the human race do you have anything to say just as they were speaking countless experts surrounded them one young man in silver armor stepped forward with raging killing intent lang huey to who and the others expressions changed lang huey was one of the four heavenly dragon heroes one of guo ran's main opponents he was willing to do anything just to apply pressure on guo ran hence guo ran's people all hated him to the bone wishing to feed him to animals fuck your mother now that my boss is here do you think that i'm afraid of you all you do is frame entrap and splash sewage on me if it weren't for those old bastards supporting the few of you i'd have long since kicked out those balls of yours what dog shit for heroes if your forces weren't constantly suppressing me would i be in this state I've endured all this humiliation for so long to learn new skills, not to fight with you. However, you've repeatedly been thorns on my sides. Before this, I was afraid because if I left the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, I'd have nowhere to go. Now that my boss is here, I'm immediately leaving this damned place. All of you can go kill yourselves. That is all. Guo Ran directly cursed Lang Huey those familiar with guo ran in the heavenly dragon divine armor college were dumbfounded today's guo ran was practically a completely different person usually guo ran was steady wise and knew how to endure first planning and then acting he never cursed people like this first he hugged long chen's leg and cried and now he directly cursed leng huey People began to suspect that Yuo Ran had been possessed by someone. What they didn't know was that Yuo Ran had never been a steady and wise person. He had acted like that only because he was forced to. For over a year, Yuo Ran had been suffering silently. In the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, he finally experienced his boss's pain and what it meant to rise through pressure. No matter how gray the future appeared, he had to give the people beside him hope. He couldn't be discouraged, he couldn't be negative, 
and he couldn't shirk things. He wanted to face them directly, but his power was also not enough. During this one year, Buaran himself didn't know how he had managed to hold himself up. That was why as soon as he saw Long Chen, he couldn't hold back and wept. If he didn't, he felt like he would go insane. With Long Chen present, he had his old confidence back. That confidence stemmed from Long Chen. Just like before, his confidence in Long Chen was practically blind. Having all his burdens suddenly cast aside made him instantly relax. Even if he had to face an immense army as long as Long Chen was by his side, there was nothing to fear. Since you admit that you're a spy, then there's nothing else to say. Come capture him. Anyone who dares to resist is to be executed, shouted Lang Huey. Anyone who dares to move will not see tomorrow's sun. However many people that come is how many that I'll kill. Long Chen clasped his hands behind his back and looked at those experts lightly. Hua Linger's true fire sword's light circulated brightly, ready to reap lives at any moment. What big words! Then show me just who dares to be so arrogant in my heavenly dragon divine armor college. A group of elders appeared, and they all possess powerful auras. They were all late-stage world kings. Their leader looked coldly at Long Chen. Deputy Dean, Tu Hu and the others cried out in alarm. This elder was the deputy dean of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. Rat, were you the one talking just now? The deputy dean came before Long Chen with a group of experts, eyeing Long Chen up and down. Bow. Long Chen directly slapped the deputy dean in the face. Who do you think you're talking to? Chapter 3578 Long Chen's slap was clean and his movements were absolutely perfect. His speed didn't seem fast, and yet it swung out so naturally in an easy flow. This simple slap was something that the late stage World King Deputy Dean was unable to avoid. He simply stood there as Long Chen's hand slapped him in the face, sending him flying back. Everyone cried out in shock, and the people behind this deputy dean hastily helped him stabilize himself. Everyone was dumbfounded. The same familiar move, the same familiar flavor. Boss really is the boss. This move is just as amazing as back in the day. Guo Ran was the first to cheer when Long Chen slapped the deputy dean's face. He had a very pleased expression. This slap was so refreshing to Guo Ran. He was like someone dying of thirst being given a big gulp of ice water. He felt all his grievances being released. If he had a chance, he also wanted to stamp on this old fellow a few times. This old fellow was precisely the greatest backer of those three hero snakes. They often used his authority to pressure Guo Ran, making Guo Ran not dare to say anything. It could be said that in the entire Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, the person that Guo Ran hated the most was this old fellow whose face needed a beating. He had dreamed countless times of slapping his irritating face just like this, and now Long Chen had realized his dream. After the deputy dean had been slapped in the face, people still didn't dare to believe their eyes. At that moment, space seemed to freeze. Everyone was deathly silent. Little brute, the deputy dean, had blood flowing out of the corner of his mouth. After being supported up by others, he was absolutely enraged. In all his life, no one had ever treated him like this. Pow! As a result of his curse, a hand accompanied by a whistling wind once more slapped his face, this time slapping the other cheek. Support us at Navaloon, come boom! Astral winds directly blew away the other elders with him this time. They tumbled back, all of them coughing up blood. The Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's experts weren't powerful physically. Within the same realm, at most, they possessed half the power of the outside world's experts, or perhaps even less. Their power stemmed from their battle armor. Without their battle armor on, 
these late-stage world kings were even weaker than mid-stage world kings of the outside world. In other words, if Long Chen didn't have mercy, his slap would directly end this old fellow's life. Kill them! The elder roared furiously. Half of his face already caved in and his head was hanging oddly. This slap had almost crushed his head. Feeling shocked and enraged, he directly summoned his battle armor. The other elders summoned their battle armors as well. Once they had the support of their battle armors, their auras instantly grew several times. Killing intent filled the air. Seeing this scene, Zai Kian was dumbfounded with fright. She had never expected Long Chen to be so tyrannical, even daring to beat the deputy dean. Seeing the deputy dean charging over so furiously, she actually had no idea what to do. Theoretically, as a disciple of the college, she had to stand on their side. But to have her be enemies with Long Chen was impossible. Hence, she was dumbstruck. Those who want to die, come. Long Chen snorted and slowly moved his hand to the Ming Hong saber on his back. His sharp killing intent began to slowly rise. He came to save Zai Kain Qian, but then he found Guo Ran. After knowing that Guo Ran had suffered so much here, Long Chen's anger also flared. He understood Guo Ran far too well. He was a typical silly, but nice person. He liked to stand out, but he definitely didn't like to offend people. It was the opposite. He was actually someone very easy to get along with. Just from Guo Ran's sobbing appearance just now, Long Chen knew how deep his grievances were here. As for these unreasonable people, they were actually still fighting amongst themselves with their deaths almost at hand from the devil beasts. Upon thinking of this, Long Chen's anger almost went out of control. He would vent for Guo Ran. If they didn't recognize kindness, he wouldn't hesitate to send them on their way. The deputy dean completely ignored Long Chen's warning and shot straight toward him. Long Chen's hand tightened around the Ming Ong's saber. Stop. Just then, a voice rang out. It wasn't loud and actually very gentle. But other than Long Chen, everyone else was dumbstruck. The deputy dean and the others instantly froze. It's the dean, Guo Ran whispered to Long Chen. At the very least, he had respect for this dean. After that, the void shuddered slightly and an elder appeared in front of everyone, one who appeared refined and scholarly. As a result, everyone hastily bowed. Greetings, Dean. The elder had an amicable smile on his face. It appeared as if he would never get angry, and he gave off a very comfortable feeling. The elder waved his hand to indicate that there was no need to bow. After that, he looked at Long Chen. May I ask if you are the High Firmament Academy's great dean? When the elder said this, everyone, including Guo Ran, was shocked. Although they didn't have much understanding of the High Firmament Academy, the name of the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands' oldest academy was known to all. This little one is merely the dean of the Seventh Branch Academy. I cannot accept being called the great dean of the High Firmament Academy. Long Chen cupped his fists slightly. Even the dean of a branch academy is in a lustrous position. It's not something that our heavenly dragon divine armor college can compare to. I am Zhu Yifen. Please forgive me for failing to immediately greet you when you arrived. This dean directly told Long Chen his name and bowed to him using the etiquette of two people of the same seniority. This surprised Long Chen. He hadn't expected the dean to be quite amiable. He didn't put on airs, but then why were all the disciples beneath him so arrogant? It was incomprehensible. Long Chen returned the bow. Dean is too courteous. I heard that the old devil star field was in crisis, so I wanted to help an old friend leave. Only then did Zai Kainkian realize that Long Chen had come here to save her. He hadn't even known that Yuo Ran was here as well. Hence, she couldn't help being moved. 
Long Chen continued, however, I didn't expect one of my brothers to be here as well. As a result, I thickened my face and came to your home to pay respects. But I didn't think that the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College was so powerful. Even with powerful enemies surrounding them, they aren't nervous at all. It seems that fighting amongst yourselves is truly joyful. My worries were for nothing. If the human race has such a strong will to fight, then a little all devil race isn't worth worrying about. Thus, I hope I can leave with my brother and friend. In any case, you're already so powerful that I'm sure you won't miss a few people. Only a fool would not understand Long Chen's sarcasm. The old devil Starfield was already in crisis, and they were still so bored that they fought amongst themselves. You killed our people. Why should we let you leave? A declined academy that has long since fallen into third-rank powers doesn't give you any qualifications to be arrogant. Today, you won't be bringing anyone away. As for yourself, you won't be leaving either, shouted one elder furiously. Old thing, shut your mouth. Who do you think you are to be qualified to talk to my boss? I've endured a long time already, and if you keep yapping, I'll directly kill you, shouted Kyo Ran, pointing and cursing at that elder. Yun, that's enough. This matter ends here. Dean Long Chen, if you don't mind, why not come sit for a while in my college? Invited Zhu Yifen. Long Chen couldn't help asking, is there a need for such a thing? But of course. Zhu Yifen smiled. That smile contained a certain wisdom that was difficult to describe. It made him seem unfathomable, and even Long Chen's curiosity was piqued. Then I am afraid I have to disturb you. Long Chen didn't decline in the end. He also wanted to see just what medicine was in this old dean's gourd. With Guo Ran and the others, he entered the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. Chapter 3579 Heavenly Dragon City was the prefecture city of the Heavenly Dragon Domain. As for the entire Heavenly Dragon Domain, it was under the protection of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. That was how it survived. The Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College was one of the Old Devil Star Field's eight major powers. In terms of power, they were actually near the top of the Star Field. However, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College did not dominate or lead the Old Devil Star Field. That was because the college did not like to stand out. They only helped the other powers fight against their common enemies. Also, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College was not solely under the jurisdiction of the Dean. Even the Dean did not possess that absolute authority. Instead, the true decision-makers were the Twelve Assembly Elders. Every important decision had to be suggested by the Dean while the Assembly Elders voted. The Dean himself only had two votes, Navalun, come thus. Even though the Dean had personally descended, some elders still dared to say some things to target Long Chen. It wasn't that they didn't place the dean in their eyes, but that the attitude of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College was that every person had the right to raise their own suspicions, even if it was against their dean. However, no one opposed the dean's decision to invite Long Chen into the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, because they felt that once he was inside their walls, he would never have a chance to leave. Zhu Yifen was the dean, but didn't possess any of the arrogance of the leader of such a major force. He was like an ordinary elder, walking alongside Long Chen and telling Long Chen about the history of Heavenly Dragon City. Long Chen, naturally, had goodwill towards Zhu Yifen as he treated Long Chen like an equal. He didn't treat Long Chen as a member of the junior generation and continued to call him Dean Long Chen. Yuo Ran then followed behind Long Chen. Seeing the countless shocked gazes directed at Long Chen, he had an arrogant expression. That was clearly the very image of a fox borrowing the tiger's might. After enduring for so long, he was finally venting. He very much enjoyed the feeling of having to do nothing but be surrounded by countless people's gazes just by staying behind Long Chen. 
Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. After going through Heavenly Dragon City, they reached a set of huge gates. Above the gates, the name of the college was written in golden paint. The characters were ancient and powerful, filled with Tao charm. It was as if the entire world's ten thousand Daos were compressed within these characters. Seeing that Long Chen was staring at the characters in stunned silence, Zhu Yifen smiled slightly. Do they seem a bit familiar? Could it be? Long Chen was shocked. These characters were written by the same disciple, who wrote the sign above the High Firmament Academy's gates. In truth, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College is a branch that originated from the High Firmament Academy, explained Zhu Yifen with a smile. Hearing that, Long Chen wasn't the only one that was shocked. The experts following them were also stunned. Even the world kings couldn't believe it when they heard it. Thus, when Dean Long Chen honored us with your presence, I naturally couldn't tarry. Fortunately, you are only the dean of a branch academy. If you were the dean of the main academy, I would have to greet you like a junior toward a senior, laughed Zhu Yifen. Long Chen had never expected such a thing. So the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College actually had such a deep relationship with the High Firmament Academy. Dean, how did you recognize my status? Asked Long Chen. By the time he came to the Violet Flame Heaven, the All Devil Star Field was already sealed. Normally, it should be impossible for people here to know about him. As Dean, I have nothing to do all day. Once a person grows old, they stop bothering with things and just like to listen to the gossip. I managed to learn a few bits of information like that, said Zhu Yifen with a smile. Find the original at Navaloon, Kan Long Chen was surprised. It seemed that the person before him was not so simple. His information network was so widespread. He definitely had to have special channels, otherwise there was no way that information from the chaotic star sea would be able to reach this place. In other words, this dean definitely had special means to communicate with the outside world. Then, the old devil star field was not truly a land of death just yet. Dean Long Chen, please. Zhu Yifen gestured. Long Chen was courteous and walked into the college alongside Zhu Yifen. Once he was inside, he saw countless people glaring at him frostily. Those gazes were not friendly. Clearly, someone had told the people here about an intruder that broke the barrier to enter the city. When it came to those gazes, Long Chen couldn't be bothered to pay them the slightest attention. As for Guo Ran, seeing the old fellows within the crowd, he directly stuck up his middle finger with a disdainful expression. Those were all people that had bullied Guo Ran during this time. Now, it was Guo Ran's turn to counterattack. After all, these people didn't dare to act impudent in front of the dean. They all bowed as he passed. But then, Guo Ran walked close behind the dean, waving his hand to them as if saying that there was no need to bow to him. He infuriated these people. On the other hand, Long Chen's gaze didn't fall on those people. Instead, he stared at these buildings. He had never seen a sect made entirely out of metal. Even the bricks on the ground were cast out of metal, so this entire sect gave off a heavy feeling. As they were walking, a sharp gaze suddenly drew Long Chen's attention. Long Chen then looked over to see a woman, whose gaze seemed to contain a divine sword. Moreover, her blood kai was very powerful as if there was a wild beast slumbering in her body. She actually gave Long Chen quite a sense of pressure. She was tall, even half a head taller than an average man, but her body was well proportioned. Her shoulders were a bit wide, and she wore a skin-tight battle dress showing some moving curves. Although she wouldn't be considered a beauty, she gave off a wild flavor. Boss, this person is Zai Liyuer, the only woman amongst the four heavenly dragon heroes. Just look at her. Doesn't she resemble Ryan? whispered Guo Ran. They are a bit similar. 
especially that fierceness. Long Chen nodded. Liu Ryan was also tall, perhaps the tallest amongst the women in his group. However, this Sai Liur was simply expressing her arrogance, while Liu Ryan was icily arrogant from her bones. There was still a great difference in their temperaments. She is my mortal enemy, and I've suffered quite a bit at her hands. Boss, you must avenge me, declared Yuo Ran. Why can't you get revenge yourself? It's not like I can beat her. My meaning is that you should seduce her, make her fall in love with you, and then cast her aside. Scram, did you come to the heavenly dragon divine armor college to study these things? Demanded Long Chen irritably. Don't be like that. I've already bragged to her. You can't end up slapping my face, cried Guo Ran. What did you say to her? She looked down on me and suppressed me, and just seeing how arrogant she acted pissed me off. So I said, what are you acting like a badass for? If you encounter my boss, you'll immediately submit. Not one woman beneath the heavens can resist my boss's allure. With your looks by my boss's side, you would only be fit to be a maid doing his laundry, said Guo Ran. Why the hell did you drag me into it? Raged Long Chen. Because I couldn't beat them back then. I didn't have any other vicious words to say. Just look at how contemptuously she's looking at you. Boss, how can you endure this? Said Guo Ran, trying to fan some flames. That's enough. It was a mistake to come here. You can treat it as if I didn't come here, and I'll leave in a bit, said Long Chen speechlessly. Guo Ran instantly began to pack. Just as he was about to speak again, their path was blocked by a group of elders. It's the assembly elders. Guo Ran hastily put away his smile and whispered a warning. These people actually blocked the dean's way, and they didn't have friendly expressions. Chapter 3580 This was a group of ancient elders. They were doddering, especially the four elders at the front. They were quivering as if they might collapse at any moment. The four of them had almost reached the limits of their lifespans. They might die at any moment and couldn't even open their eyes. And yet, they had the face to block Long Chen's path. Dean, this person is the killer of my heavenly dragon divine armor college's disciples. For you to protect him like this, how will you give everyone an explanation? Marked one of those elders. Although he was already old, he still had plenty of Kai. His words contained an unquestionable dignity. An explanation? That will have to wait until after I finish greeting my guest. It's not the time yet, said Zhu Yifen, still smiling even as these elders blocked his path. Greeting a guest? A murderer counts as a guest? Sneered another elder, his voice full of dissatisfaction. It seemed that they didn't even place Zhu Yifen, the dean, in their eyes. You, Oran, couldn't help cursing you old Foji who is a murderer. You better speak more politely. All of you with your canes. Do you think that you're some big shots? Do you believe me when I say that if you anger my boss, he'll kill you, cover you in a coffin, and bury you in the earth? Your entire family will come and cry as you are put in your place. The current Guo Ran could truly be said to have guts big enough to cover the heavens. As long as Long Chen was present, he didn't know what fear was. Now, he cursed anyone that he wanted. Brazen creature, you dare to insult us. Yuo Ran's curse instantly enraged countless people. After all, those four elders at the front had even higher seniority than the dean. Those people had never viewed him very favorably. After all, he wasn't a native born in this place. Although Guo Ran said that he was an ascender, the old devil Starfield didn't have many ascenders, so people always had suspicions about his true origins. Despite Guo Ran's astonishing talent, he was suppressed all over. This was done with the tacit approval of these higher ups. They looked down on Guo Ran, a person with no background. 
Yua Ren's growth was too fast, so wasn't that saying that everyone else was an idiot? Fuck you. Who do you think you are? Why are people that are halfway into the grave so arrogant about? You don't even have the slightest ability left. I don't see you going on to the battlefield, but you're all so arrogant in your little den. If you have some almighty ability, why don't you quell the unrest outside? Help the old devil Starfield pass through its crisis, said Gua Ran disdainfully. For over a year, Gua Ran had been very cautious and prudent, not daring to say too much. He had been afraid that one wrong word would give them something that they could use against him. But now, he had Long Chen to support him, so he wasn't afraid of anyone. All the emotions that he had been holding back for so long were all unleashed. He didn't place anyone in his eyes any longer. The four elders were so enraged that their bodies shook. Come leave. Whatever matters there are, they can wait until I finish with my guest. If anyone dares to block us again, don't blame me for not caring about your feelings, shouted Zhu Yifin suddenly. This cold shout from Zhu Yifin stunned everyone, especially those elders. In all their memories, Zhu Yifin had only ever been amiable. In all their lives, they had never seen his face go cold. But today they did. Those people instantly fell silent and were all scared. As soon as Zhu Yifin started walking again, they opened a path. Long Chen didn't even look at them. He strolled past them alongside Zhu Yifin. As for Guo Ran, he smiled disdainfully at them and stuck close behind Long Chen. Zai Kain Qian, Tu Hu, and the others were originally following behind them. However, they came to a stop at this time. That was because the Dean's Palace was up ahead. They weren't qualified to enter that place. However, as soon as they paused, they sensed countless hostile gazes looking their way like sharp swords. Keeling a chill, they pretended like they didn't see anything. A group of three people entered the palace, and no one else came to block them again. Inside the spacious palace, the three of them sat lotus style. Yuo Ran obediently sat beside Long Chen. Zhu Yifen then looked at Guo Ran. Guo Ran suddenly felt a slight chill and hastily said, Dean, there's no need to ask me to stay. I'll definitely follow my boss. What a pity, a real pity, sighed Zhu Yifen. What is a pity? asked Guo Ran. If Dean Long Chen came one or two years later, a hero might have arisen within my heavenly dragon divine armor college. Zhu Yifen shook his head regretfully. Long Chen was startled. Was Senior planning on turning Guo Ran into the leader of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College? Guo Ran himself was startled. His reaction wasn't as quick as Long Chen, so he looked at Zhu Yifen questioningly. Zhu Yifen bitterly smiled. The very first day Guo Ran came, I already noticed him. This child's innate talent and comprehension ability are astounding. He likes to walk the novel paths that can lead to unexpected successes, paths that his predecessors didn't dare to even think of. His potential is limitless. Dean, you wouldn't be saying these things only because my boss came, would you? I feel like I have no home in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. I'm targeted from all sides. If it weren't for senior apprentice sister Zai Kai and Kian looking after me, I don't know how many times I would have been conned to death. If you really viewed me so highly, why didn't you promote me? asked Gua Ran. Zhu Yifen shook his head and didn't reply. It was Long Chen who said, A heavenly general descends with a great mission on their shoulders. They must first endure pain. They must work until their bones collapse, starve until they are skin and bones. An expert is not raised. It is someone who suddenly explosively grows under immense pressure. Senior can be said to have shown careful consideration. I will thank you in Gua Ran's place. Long Chen looked at the elder. He felt that this elder might very well be an incredibly wise person, so he didn't doubt his words. 
I was previously very curious about why this child Gua Ran has such good talent, but none of the arrogance of an expert. So many people bullied you, suppressed you, and schemed against you, but you just kept enduring, not fighting back. I was always waiting, waiting for the day that you exploded. It is only now that Dean Long Ten has come that I understand. Although you are powerful, you feel too dependent on him. You have never thought about being an independent supreme expert. You have never thought of being the shield that blocks the wind and rain, said Zhu Yifen, looking at Yuo Ram regretfully. Yuo Ran was stunned. It was only now that he realized that the dean had always been looking after him. Thinking back carefully, it seemed that there were several times when he had almost died, only to luckily get out alive. So it wasn't actually luck but the dean's secret help. Find the original at Navaloon. Come, dean, I'm sorry. I have disappointed you. Thank you for saving my life. Kyo Ren was someone who knew to repay kindness. He respectfully kowtowed to the dean. It can't be blamed on me. If you have to blame someone, blame my boss for being too strong. With him, I never have to worry about anything. In this lifetime, I don't have such grand goals. My own goal is to be right behind my boss showing off. Boss will show off big, and I'll show off small. It's safe, quick, and painless, said Yuo Ran without blushing in the slightest. These words enraged the dean to the point of laughing. Not knowing whether to laugh or cry, he said, I, Zhu Yifen, have never misjudged people in this lifetime. But now I am old. I actually misjudged you. I was actually hoping for you to be a hero like Zia Yuong, leading the old devil Starfield onto its proper path. It seems that I was overthinking things. Zia Yuong? Are you talking about big brother Zia Yuong, the monarch of the Grand Zia Nation? asked Long Chen hastily, feeling surprised. 